Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest and classic Atari games. Tonight, we're delving back into 1983 for some more punishment. Yeah. Or maybe not tonight. <laughs> it's a pretty good list, actually. It, it does seem like a pretty good list. Yeah. There's so, some really ooh, good ones on there. We're going to have some fun tonight, I think. Yes. Uh, 1983 Part 4 out of 6. Wow. 83. Yes. 83 is wow. almost half... Of all the Atari 2600 games came out in 1983. Yes. Um, yeah, so welcome to After Dark, uh, where we do uh, kind of show adjacent things. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. High scores, full playthroughs, and special right. shows like this, where we're celebrating the, the games. 45th anniversary of the Atari 2600. Yes which was released in 1977, September 11th. So we're building up to September 11th, nice. where, where we're going to play the very last of the games mm. on September 10th and 11th. Mm. We're going to do a, a marathon of the last bit of games. So that will be fun. Very fun. Um, but today we're doing 1983 part four. We've got the stop watch timer for five minutes per game ready. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Scrolling down to the side of Tanya, Ooh. Alnifer, Armscar, Armscar H, no, Alnifer, Arkham H, Armscar Coder, Atari 1974. <laughs> That's an amalgamation of two names. Yeah, uh, you're just you're just blending them all together now. <laughs> yeah, uh, A through Z, done. Yeah. Uh, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Captain Man 2D, Carlos Madruga, Charles Whelan, Coconut 81, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dan, AVC, Drexel, Duck, Mook, Has, Gopher Man, Great Defender, Oh, your rapper, I steal newspapers. Stop it. Uh, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Computer JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lauren TDZ, Marco Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno with Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Packrat, VG Quag, R70, Randy Ghost, Repentless Feedy, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Spice, where S. Ramirez, the D Train, the Welsh Man, Tiki Dan, K, Tifos, TM Events, Trek MD, 2600, X, Ken X. And if you want your name on the list or back on the list, hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. You can show your support by uh, making making me read out your name mm -hmm. or just hit subscribe and pay money. <laughs> um, <coughs> we've got d mail that's adjacent not to really. the show. <laughs> well, adjacent. it's because we're not going to be here for this. Yes. So it's somewhat related to the show. Yeah, um, we're going to be on break. Oh my God, pop-ups. I know, you have a ton of pop-ups just covered the whole screen. Pop-ups I request. But, yeah, but um, still pop-ups. So we are not going to be here in uh, about a week yeah. or so. No, a week and a bit. For uh, about a week and a half, yeah. two weeks. And we are going to something called Burning Man. And I just got the postcards for it. Yay. Burning Man is a art thing in the desert. It's a thing. Art, music, kind of crazy, Costumes. hard to describe, festively kind of thing where everyone yep. camps in the very, 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 very hot Nevada. Not desert. a music festival. <laughs> Not a music festival. <laughs> Although it does have music. If you and know it what it is, you know what it is. Yes. It's kind of crazy. It's a lot of fun. It is not just twenty-year-olds raving in in the yeah. dust either. So yeah. Uh, and, I, and I talked a, a lot, lot <laughs> about this. A lot about it on my. Um, Wall jump ninja solo. Oh, did stream. you? Yeah, were people For... asking questions or no? No, I was just <laughs> unloading on them. They're like, I don't care. <laughs> they didn't ask any questions, um, but I had to talk about something. But um, yep. here's the postcards I made for it. I was talking yep. about this a little bit. Oh yeah. Um, that's Tanya's art. Yes. On the front. Yeah. There we go. That's a theme. Waking dreams. Yeah. There's the back. Very nice. So uh, yeah, I designed that to give out because you give things away at, 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 at the festival. Very Tanya nice. hasn't seen it yet. So no, I go. haven't. It looks really good. 1983 Part 4 sounds like a horror movie <laughs> franchise. <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah, it does sound like a horror movie franchise. Hopefully it's not a horror movie. Um, so we've got a list of games we're going to be playing today. Um, starting with one that we missed. <laughs> that we played like twice already, but we, we, we still haven't played, played the wrong right one several times. I yeah. don't know what was We're going to finally there. play the right one. Yes. Um, which is Sword Quest Earthworld. There we go. Um, we played Sword Quest Fireworld twice. Yes. Quickly turned it off the second time because yeah. it was a mistake. Um, because I was going to play Sword Quest Earthworld yes. when we were playing Sword Quest Fireworld, but I forgot. And then we, uh, yeah. So we played it again. So we're yes. going to finally get that out of the way. Yeah. It's terrible. It is just. We just have to do it and get it done. 
because, you know, yeah. we were playing every single game. We can't yeah. miss one. So uh, I think that's it for news and intro because we're just going to get into it. Yeah. Infiltrated C64 is still in the cat. It cam. is. It, it has is. infiltrated. Yeah, I haven't moved it back. Um, the Lynx is going to go there mm -hmm. for a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. um, no, also Real Sports Football versus Real Sports Soccer is on the list. Yes. Um, because Real Sports Soccer is actually in today's list and I'm going to put mm. the football because we accidentally played soccer but I'll explain what happened Fair there uh, when we get to it yeah. but first up is uh, Sword Quest Earthworld which I do have the cartridge for because it's common as dirt because I guess everybody wanted to get in on the contest yeah. so here you go all were incredibly disappointed yeah. at least from what I hear new one. Very true, very true. Very someone someone with, got to win. Very happy with whatever it was that won. I can't remember what it is. Oh, it's got a nice... Uh, yeah. Nice opener screen. Where's my remote? There it is. So let's... Looking good. Good evening. As always. Well, thank you. So is everyone in the chat looking yes. good? <laughs> um, okay. Sword Quest, 1982. Uh, October 17th actually was released. Made by Dan Hitchens and Mimi... Newden. So let's start up the clock or the countdown and uh, start the torture. There you go. So, um, yeah, it's all the things. We're not going to be doing uh, the looking into the manual or anything, so just try and get to the games when you can. So, just, how do I oh. just change rooms? But, how do I change the things at the bottom? Oh, you go, you click on the button, and then you go down to the bottom, and you can swap it out. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Um. It's truly exciting. Um. Oh, <laughs> these are really loud, and I can't hear them here. So let's turn this up. I don't understand this already. Can you just pick up things? I thought they were mini games. There were, but you have to place the right things in the right split in the oh. right place. The concept in the competition was great. The games are not. Oceanics, that is correct. If they had good mini games, yeah. then it could just be played as a game. Right? See this one I, I like. Oh my it's, god. It's it's freeway, right? Yeah, but Oh my god, it's so it's your head. Is it your head? It's, it's your everything, head. it's your whole body. Oh my goodness, how are you so supposed to get it's hard. That? Well, they didn't want people oh winning the contest. <laughs> no kidding. They wanted one person winning the contest. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Get the this is ridiculous. Oh, you can go side to side. Oh, you can on this one. Oh, oh okay. That okay. last one you couldn't. There you go. You're going to make it. No! Oh, ah! So close. It's the whole body, too. It's like not just your feet. Oh. Ugh. I'm not enjoying this. You need another item <gasps> to get through there. I forget which one. Like oh, actually... really? No, she almost made it. Yeah. She could make it. I don't know. You just have to get lucky, I guess. That's where there are several items that let you bypass the mini games. Oh, there you go. Da da da, and you get I don't know a peach ball. A centaur. I don't know. You're full. You can't pick that one up. <laughs> So you have to put stuff in certain places? You yeah. can't pick up that one. No, you're full. You have to drop something. No, you're full. You have to drop no, something. No, no, but I mean, do I interact with this thing? I don't know. Because I couldn't interact. You, dro you drop them in certain places. Mm. And you have them for certain games to make them easier, I'm guessing. Oh, I see. But this thing you can't pick up. <laughs> so it's have... goat room, I guess. Oh, <laughs> it's goat room. I, I, I guess so. Yeah, makes sense. That looks like a shield. Charles Wilson says, we only had loose copies of these when I was a kid, so we had no idea what was going on. That's my whole experience as a kid, is having loose 2600 games Goat and room. having no idea. Really? And this one, you have to step on them like Frogger, like the logs in Frogger. Which oh seems goodness. a little easier. Does it? Because it's Frogger, right? Oh my god. Where do I have to jump on them? Anywhere, so some of them are moved. Oh. Some of them move fast, right? So you have to be very precise. Oh, in right in the, the water. Metal, in the deadly water to frogs. Oh, come on. Oh, no debounce. Oh. 
Yay! There you go. Uh, oh, oh. oh! The images next to the door is the room name based on the zodiac. Oh, ah. uh, okay. So that would have been what, Aries? I can't remember. Uh, yeah. Meh. Sounds bad, doesn't it? Meh. Even though it wasn't. Just on the edge there. Ooh. Oh, they disappear! <sighs> oh no! I think you can go back down, though, too. Oh. Like, this minigame's not terrible, it's just too hard. It's not easy. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> oh no. I'm not very good at Frogger. <laughs> this is like fro nightmare Frogger level. Oh, 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 no. No. You want to get a shot? <laughs> sure. Boo! <laughs> You're probably better at this than I am anyway. It's quite sensitive. It is. Aww. Oh, my goodness. Beach ball! Haha! <laughs> oh, I almost got it. Uh... The symbol next to the door is an identifier, yeah. Oh no, we have to stop playing this. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one is MASH. Based on the hit TV series. Oh, do they have the theme song at the beginning? I don't think so. Is that like uh, people who need to be s returned to uh, the medical tent? That's right. Mm. It's two person? I believe it's a two person game, so nice. you can compete. Compete for casualties. <laughs> <laughs> I am yellow. Oh my god. Tanya is blue. Get those casualties. Oh, we're competing for them. I mean, it makes sense. You want to get the oh, casualties back as quickly as possible. But I can bump. Like, bump you. Oh god, I got stuck on a tree. Nope, I'm full. Full of casual. Oh my god, you bumped me into the bullet! Is this by 20th Century Fox? Who probably owned the right to the TV show? In some way, maybe? Or the movie, actually, more like it. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, operation? Kind That's of. You. You're moving bullets. So it, it acts like operation. Once you have the bullet, you can't touch the side. With the You can't let the bullet touch the side. Oh, almost out of time. Oh, dead. Your turn. Hey, Atari 2600 dude. Oh. Oh, Zap. I killed him. This is MASH. And it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Oh, no. Boo. At least it's got two screens. Come on, we're getting like no, two I'm points. No, I'm full. I'm full. Oh, come on. Full. Oh, my God. Terrible. Full of wounded, bleeding people. And dead, dead, wounded, bleeding people. Yeah, shot down by the one tank. The bullets do tend to go through you sometimes. Um, Which is for the best. I guess it's because of flicker. Oh. Me first? Yeah, looks like you first. Oh, come on! And your turn is over. Oh, no! You let the patient die. It's the bullet that matters, not the... Uh... Oh, is it? The bullet? Yeah. Oh, good. Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, ferret face. It says it's fun. <laughs> mm. It's a little plane at the top that's not doing anything. I wonder what's going on with that plane. Just, just decoration, I guess. You get 
points for each person you pick up, but you only seem to get, like, two of the numbers at the top. Ferret Face, I think, was Hawkeye's name for... Burns? Dead patient. No, not dead. No, my time ran, ran out. out of time. Well, if you hit the walls, like a... he, he dies. Oh yeah, my that. god! Ferret face. <laughs> yeah, it says ferret face at the top when you uh, when the patient dies. I don't think I've ever seen the movie. Have you ever seen the movie? I haven't. It's supposed to be really good. Oh, what happened? Oh. And Did we die? And you beat me by 11 Ooh. points. Good job. Excellent. So this Frank Burns was fair faces. Yeah. yeah. So this came out on April 1st, mm. 1983, or April, sorry. Mm. 20th Century Fox, made by Frank Cohen, Douglas Dallas North Neubauer, also known as Warzone. Good movie. Yep. Oh, I'll have to watch it sometime. I really like the show. Uh, 21 seconds. Well, I'll get the next one ready. Uh, oh, and also Sword Quest Earthworld was released August 17th, 1982 by Atari, by Dan Hitchens and Mimi Needen, uh, CX-2656. And this one is 11011. Next one up is Dolphin. Nice. By Activision. Yay! I want to see some sunsets. Sunsets. Oh, you. you need to play this one. Hey, what the hell? crashed. That was the dolphin. Oh, well, it was already going. Oh, you're making me play? Yeah. Oh, no! That sounded like the dolphin uh, protesting uh, to us playing the game. Yeah. Not happy. Okay, let's do this. Oops. Uh, no. Okay, that's what you do. Over and 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 over. And the octopus gets more and more angry and faster. <laughs> so you get, you avoid the um, octopus. Who does slowly catch up to you. Yes, every time. But if you catch happens. that wave, then 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 you get a little faster. You get a little boost. Okay, there you go. Then you become invisible. Whee! Invincible. Hey, trade. Trade chat, chat seventy four. Hey, just came across the channel. You always guys playing super retro games. Very super retro. Yeah. All the way back to nineteen eighty three today. Um, actually, we played mostly homebrew, so brand new games. For old. But old consoles. Retro you know, consoles. A, retro consoles. Yeah. Um, and 99.9% .9 Atari games. So Ooh. that is... Oh, oh. Time. Atari 2600, 5200, 7800. Oh, just in time. Um, Get them. 8-bit, Lynx, all the Ataris. The higher pitch the oats, the higher the opening in the walls, lower yeah. pitch means, yeah. And the ba best way to play this is to not do that. Yeah, Except I'm it's hitting just them jumping the tops. Because it's just easier to do this. <laughs> and it's perfectly legal in the game to do that. It is not wrong. Nope, you're allowed to do it. And as soon as the thing leaves the screen, that's when you jump. You can catch ones that are nearby. Get him. Mm. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Just in time. Ooh. I have not got my patch in this game. No? No. I thought you did. You I don't came close, think I did. did you? I think I came very close. It is hard as hell to get the patch in this game. Uh, yeah, the score is pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, most of the Activision games today. I either don't have the patch in, or I barely got the patch. Mm. They're really hard. I think they didn't want to give up patches anymore after this. <laughs> in 1983, they're Kids like... we're just too good. They're too good, giving out too many free patches. And this is one of them. Because I think I get, like, really close. 
Ugh. There we go. Scrolling clouds on top are cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, two patches. Yes, that's I think that's why. true. I think the first one's easier, and then the second, the second one's, one's quite impossible. hard. Yeah. Yeah, the clouds are amazing. The yeah. sun and the sunset and the water. I think the hard part comes in. Thank you for following. Thank you, Mia Christine. Glad you're enjoying us playing dolphin. Don't know what the pat first patch score is. Don't, I think it's it's challenging, but not impossible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's turning pink. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Oh no! Oh no! I missed it. Oh now no! It's, now now it's, it's hard. Now it's bad news. Bad news time. Oh, he's slowing down. That's good. Fine. He hit one. Hit it! Nope. Oh, he hit it! Nice. Oof. Too really low. Weird. Too low. It ain't a proper Activision game without a sunset and active plaque. <laughs> an active plaque, yeah. None of my cartridges look good. They're all terrible looking. Get him. He's get pretty him. close, so I can get him. Yeah. 300,000? Is yeah. that the neck, the top I score? I think it's. Or top score is at the patch. I well, can't the, remember. The, the second patch. The second patch is super I can't hard. What the first, what's the first patch? It's not 29,000. It is like 30,000 or something. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, something like that. Anyway. Bugging him. Well, you could play this for a while. You don't want to stop, do you? Uh, I, not until they tell me what the uh, first patch score is. What is the patch score? Who knows in the chat? Is it 30, is it 300,000 nostalgic? No, that's the hard one for sure. No, oh, the first patch. Yeah, I want to know what the first patch is. 30,000? Is it 45? Is it 100? 75, maybe? Oh, oh, oh he go, comes by so fast. Looking it up, Charles Whelan says. Okay. Oh, no, he's coming to get you. No! Okay. Much, 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 much. No, we'll stop. Okay. Let's clear that. Uh, next one is Keystone Capers. Yay! Well practiced. Love that. this game. You can play this one. Mmm. First is 80. 80, okay. Yeah. Go for it. Um, oh, Dolphin uh, April of 83, made by Matthew Hubbard, Bob Whitehead. It's also called Tubi Bird for some reason. Uh, down, up, down, up. Yeah. Uh, Keystone Capers, uh, April 1983, by Gary Kitchen, of course. Uh, AX025, also called Busy Police, and Hey, Stop. Oh, you could have picked that up. I, I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. It looked like a bag, but it... Always jump on the escalator. Uh, Saves you time. Can you on this one, too? Oh, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I don't think I've played this version of it. I've played a ton of <laughs> oh, versions. I'm pretty sure you have. I'm gonna get you. Jump on his I'm back. Oh, you. you're disappointing everyone. Oh, stop Gotta it. Gotta jump on the escalators and jump on his back. Keystone Capers is a classic for sure. It oh, is. It is. It is a fun one. Um, yeah, I read all that out. Oh. Uh, yeah, this one you can't tell you which can't direction. You can't judge it, can you? Nope. Tackle him! Flying tackle! Just... Let's move the fan out where it actually is blowing on us. That will help. So before we gonna we go away, we're going to do all of that. <laughs> I wasted you do have to a jump ton over. of time. Oh, I was like, I'll go something? up to no, I'll go up to the upper level. Oh. No, I've changed my mind. Actually, you can tell the small pick will appear on the floor <laughs> just terrible. before the doors open. Yeah, but you can't tell. Like if it's in the middle floor, you can't tell if it's going up or down. There you so go. You're, Tackled. Um, obviously, if it's in the top floor, it's going down. So you really do have to pay attention to it, like, right away beforehand. Nope. Just came. Just went. Just ran away. Oh! Oh, I thought I saw it. I thought I saw it. I guess not. True, but the point is that it'll appear on the floor in a small map a second or two before it opens. That does help. That does help. Yeah, that's true. So you don't have to waste your time. So if it shows 
on the bottom, that means it's going to open if it's not already there. Now that is true. That will help a lot. Thank you, ITC. Never knew that. Um, and uh, when I got my patch, I actually fudged it a bit oh. because the elevator is continuous. Even through resets, it's continuous. So what you do is you reset it at the right time for the elevator to show up. Oh, stop it. <laughs> the show to show up on your floor. And that lasts for a long time because it times out perfectly when you catch the uh, the robber, the thief. Ooh, okay, fine. So if you see it, move up and then just move on. Yeah. I guess the thief's running really slowly because he's full of goods. He is. Full of goods. He's full. He's just got stuff stuffed everywhere. Woof. That was tight. Ah, it seemed close. <laughs> there he is. Uh, and the shot. bonus in this version is there's only the thief when you're on the same screen as him. Oh, oh you got to duck under you that. You do? Mm. I think it's really hard to jump over it, even if it's possible. Okay. I like that if you hit an obstacle, it disappears. It's a nice consolation. Keeps you from losing lots of time in one place. That is true. That does help a lot. There are some things like the planes kill you. You're just done. You lose a life and you go back to the beginning. But... S oh, no. No, no, no. No? No. Because he'll go down. Will he? And then you can't get him unless you go back on the elevator. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so just one level. Ah, that was terrible. Oh, no. Uh, you can do it, maybe. Yeah, you could do it. You can do it. Ugh, terrible. It's going to be tight. Terrible? Oh, I don't have the... Oh. I don't have the timer started. Oh. Uh, okay. You want to run? I, no. No, nope, we're I, done? I think we're, we're done. done. I didn't okay. start the timer. I forgot. Uh, next one is another Activision game. It is Oink. <gasps> I don't I know this game. It this sounds one. very cute. It is super cute. The characters are super cute. Maybe, maybe. Go Aww. for it. What does Oink do? Okay, he destroys your bricks. Then you go up and get a brick at the top. Press the button. And then you put it into place. You can drop it from way up high, too. And you, and you want to keep building it back up. And if he breaks through... He can shoot his laser wolf breath at you, at you and uh, then you lose a life. So you want to keep keep everything nice and built up with bricks, and um, try and build up the places oh, that are, have the biggest gaps. Faster. Yeah, you'll you'll figure out better techniques for moving and dropping because you can do it pretty fast. Yes, three great ones in a row, 100%. Well, you really can't go wrong with Activision. They have very few stinkers. If any, there's just better or worse Activision games. Uh-oh, that's a big gap. Filling that gap. I, I'm having a hard time. I think I'm not carrying it. I'm dro just immediately dropping some of them. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, it is very sensitive to the dropping. Yeah. Now you're good. not good at this game. Oh my goodness, it's so hard! It is a tough, tough games. Yeah, Laser Blast. That's... That's an unfortunate game. It's, uh... It's just so repetitive. That's the problem. I mean, the mechanics are 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 very... are fine. It's just a one-note game. That's... I think that's the big issue with Laser Blast. If it had maybe a couple different types of levels or different movement patterns... Ah, oh, he got me. No, no, the bricks helped you. If you get caught on a brick, that's why you want to put out, like, um, make, like, jail bar bricks ah. so that uh, you don't get caught. Mm -hmm. ITC says, I used to get bored of freeway pretty darn quick, too. I don't mind freeway too much. Especially on the more difficult levels of freeway. If it's on the easy one, then it's pretty quick. You're just getting points. <clears throat> but, uh... Oh, oh, big gap. 
close that up. You're not doing too bad for your first time now that you figured the strategy out. But the wolf gets faster. He's and really, faster really fast. And faster. You inevitably, I, I don't know if you can like go forever on this. I don't know if you can max out like the wolf at its fastest where you can survive that indefinitely. It's probably some amazing <gasps> oink players out there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. Phew. there's strategies like okay yeah when it's nearby you just drop 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 so that you can get a new row and 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 oh. ah done that's one. Oh, one. <sighs> that's the noise it plays i've had enough of this <laughs> i've had enough of yeah. this yeah <laughs> it's just um uh, yeah you can move a lot faster uh, it's tedious on the hands. My hand hurts. It's a lot it. of movement. It's just like boom, 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 boom. It's a very tedious game. Did you get the patch for oinks? As I did. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. The oink patch isn't too bad. Yeah. It does get pretty hectic, but I, I don't remember it being hard, very hard at all. This is a clever use of playfield graphics, since each yes. pixel is so wide, it's a simple inspiration for bricks. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's perfect. And adding that little row of um, that that line, that horizontal line, helps the illusion of the bricks. Charles Millen says patch is 25k. Okay. For this one, I assume. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's that pretty seems fast doable. at 25. I would think so. You're already at seven. Uh, you uh, you made it up to the first bit. This is the second life. Oh, that's right. Sorry, you, you didn't, didn't die. start over. Yeah. There you go. All right, good times. Next one up is Real Sports Soccer, but we're not going to play that because we already played it. We're going to play Real Sports Football, which we missed because of French and English, well, U.S. and the world. That's That was the issue. Because what the U.S. calls Football is not the same as what the rest of the world knows. <laughs> but was it called real sports football? Uh, yes. It was. So you had a European version. I had an international real version or soccer. Canadian version. Not probably Canadian, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't call it football here. Um, we call it soccer. That's true. So it's, it was probably European no, no, or international. Has... Computer or what? Oh. I don't know if I'm playing you or, let's see. Uh, I'm sure there's like things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Front run left. Okay, you are playing. Now I have to figure out if, I, if I'm playing. No, I'm not playing. No, I'm playing. No, I'm not. I know, but is it a two person game? Oh, 100% there's okay. two person version of this. Easier than implementing. Okay, press button. Yeah, I think I am playing. Yep, there we go. Come here. <laughs> We're just tackling each other. There are no moves that are happening, no plays. Oh, God, right into him. Yeah, Vitoko, it should be called hand egg. Because <laughs> it's not a ball, and you don't okay. use your foot very much. I like that very much. Yeah, I stole that from somebody. Hand egg. Oh, 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 he barely touched me. Okay, I'm gonna make it. No! <laughs> no! Oh, I'm losing Don't ground! Don't run backwards! Well, that is not how this game is played. You have to run forwards? Okay. I'm gonna get you. Ah, you lost can you ground. Throw it? You can't throw it, can you? Oh, I'm sure there's. I'm sure you have to set it up for a play. Like, oh, I'm going to throw, and then one of your guys goes forward. I don't know. The graphics are good. Very good. Like the running animation. Uh, lots of people on, on the screen. Not a full amount of people, but... Oh, oh, you're so much faster than me. <laughs> 
In Australia, we call football soccer because we have our own type of football, so it kind of makes sense to me. Aussie rules. Oh, oh no, that's oh. rugby. Go! You're so much faster. Yeah, it's How called it rugby. Be. Rugby? No, rugby isn't football. No, it's a separate thing. So I'm wondering what it means is by... there is there an Aussie rules football? Is that what's going on? I don't oh, know. go! No! <laughs> zero zero. It's high scoring game. <laughs> Throw it. Aussie, Aussie rules. rules football. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm dancing. So happy. Oh, did look, I get I got sacked? Points. Did I get sacked behind the goal line? I, I didn't notice what the the. That was terrible. <laughs> that would be terrible. That was terrible. Well, I got points, so. Oh, I kicked it. Oh my god. Did I get points for that? Yeah. No, nope, I didn't. A safety. That's what it is. You were at the goal line. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Yeah, great animation for oh falling, too. <laughs> Just run into it. Oh, you can move the players. You can, but I, I still don't know how. Ugh. Gotcha. Terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Nope. There we go. Ah. Ran right into a guy that was occupied. Get him. Get him. Where are my players? Oh, my God. Nah, just do it. <laughs> just do it. <sighs> Touchdown! Yay! <laughs> and the crowd goes mild. <laughs> James missed a touch home by inches. I just got it again. Ugh. Ran into his foot. I know. It's easy just to get, apparently, to get tripped by other players in this game. Kicked your head. There we go. different personally not a fan i would rather have soccer but it's hugely po popular yeah i like soccer i like games that are constant action well football and baseball are not constant action next one is real sports tennis and i'm surprised i don't have a card for this there might be passing but we couldn't figure out the passing you would think in football there'd be passing. oh there's passing for sure um, so, Real Sports Football, Alan J. Murphy, Robert Zybel, also called Football 2, November 21st, 1982. Now we're back in 1983 and staying there. Um, Real Sports Tennis? Do it. Uh, I couldn't find who made this. Ooh, very nice. Bouncy. Oh, really nice net. Look at that. Mm. And the score at the top. Uh, April 1983. So, one player fast. Two player slow, two player. Let's do two player slow. Okay. Just so we can get used to it. Yep. Oh, and you can put in your name. Wow. So it has the whole font in there. And some music. Oh, what do I have to do? Hit do it just, with your rack. Do I have to hit it? Nope. Just be there. Okay. Just, just be, like the last game present. we played. Ah! It's pretty much the same. Hit it with the edge of your racket and it'll go off to the side. I don't know if the button comes into play at all. Oh, missed it. It's A A A playing A A A A A. Ah versus ah. 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 This could pass for a 5200 game. Yeah, it could. Oh. Especially because of the net. Like you don't see that nope. detail too often. It's because you can't go right up to the net. And I can't go right up to the net, so it's using the player characters all the way across. Oh, trying to tip it. Tip it. Oh, no. Or maybe just get it over the net is a good strategy for now. It's pretty much like the oh, other tennis, on. except the graphics are a, a little, little bit, bit more detailed. Yeah. Oh, I can go right up to the net. Oh, but it deletes me. Smart way of doing it. Your body? Yeah, just races me because so you can't see me through the net oh jeez. oh you got it oh and there's no ball only an ovoid oh damn it oh sometimes i think i have it and then it goes right past and the um 
The shadow's nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I mean, they have the um, an unavoidable line down the left and the right-hand side, but that's fine. I mean, colors down the left and right. And it switches, which is interesting. Oh, when you switch sides, it switches which is the uh, missile. Ugh. Ugh. You can move really fast in this game. Oh. It's cute. It's very cute. Very cute. Very nice tennis ah. game. I like this one. And, whoa, is that a big, like, lob? Oh, I couldn't even get that one. It was crazy. It's going so slow. Got it. I'm gonna tip it. Tip it. I, I'm tired just watching these guys play. <laughs> I always think of tennis work, as such a, such a tiring. Oh my god, come on. Oh, did you get that? I guess so. Oh my so. god. And this oh, is a uh, very runny, runny game. Ugh, Running around. It just makes me tired. It's good exercise because oh, it's fun goodness. while you do it. Is it? <laughs> is is it? it? It is. We haven't played tennis in a I long know time. I we have in ages, and I'm not a very good tennis player. But I have, do enjoy it. Don't th think we have rackets anymore. Ours were just yeah, broken. I think we do. I think you're right. Discovered a can of balls that are probably very like flat. 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like tennis, there was a period of time where tennis was super, super popular. Yep. And like people would go and meet people and play tennis. Click, click, click. We are working hard. Um, only one I've actually played is real sports baseball, which I didn't like much. Mm. So that was real sports tennis. Now it's Smurf Rescue in Gargamel's Castle. Nice. Very, very different too. from uh, real sports tennis. Very different. But you couldn't find it? No, I have it for Coleco, but I don't have it for Atari. What was it? Gar Smurf. Oh, there we go. Yep. Um, oh, April. So cute. We get copyright claimed. Okay. Press the button. There we go. So this is one of those games that has very specific jumps. So up and up, you do one jump and then you do a big jump, right? A standing jump. And you'll have to do long jumps over certain things. Oh my goodness. Nope. <gasps> long jump. Way too far away from it. Get right oh up to gosh, it. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. There you go. So this is made by Todd Marshall, Robin McDaniel, and Henry Will the Fourth. Yay. Released in April by Coleco. All the past ones were Atari, by the way. Past two. Um, 2465. You can't walk downstairs in this game. You have to jump down the stairs. Too big of a jump. Oh my god, really? <laughs> it's one of those where everything's precise. Very nice cloud in the sky. Very nice uh, sunset. Good rolling hills. Yeah, big one. And a small one. Whoa. Smurfette! Yay, Smurfette! Aww. This is some rough platforming, says Nostalgic. <laughs> it's, it's rough Agreed. platforming. <laughs> It's unforgiving platforming. You think this is a kid's game, but it's like, no, this is precision movement. Oh, he's gonna dive. He's gonna go back up, though, I think. Oh, I think you have to jump over him. Oh. <laughs> like how the fence disappears. And 
it's couch compliant. La, 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 la. So it's one, two. Yeah. And duck. What's, what's a Oh, there is a duck. Maybe he passes what? over your head. Oh. Yeah. Probably can duck. And so a jump is to the diagonal. Is it? Yeah. So you can do a short jump. A short uh, forward jump, you mean? Uh, yes. Short forward jump. Which I could probably do there. Yeah. Ah, oh, my foot caught on this little stair. I wonder if I can do it just a short jump. That's not a short jump, though. Didn't I? Jumping twice is a No, I accidentally jump. pressed on. Oh, you First mean time. diagonally? Yeah. That's cute. I'll give them credit for trying with the music. The music is pretty good. And this is definitely... Diagonal. This diagonal. Is, this is definitely the uh, dungeon level. Aw. Aw, Smurfette. The only woman in the village. Theories that it's just a male Smurf. <laughs> with, <laughs> with a wig? With a wig. Yeah, it's possible. Because... I think uh, she was created by Papa Smurf. Oh, that was it. I remember that story. Can you duck? I'm going to jump because it's not enough. I don't think you're low enough. No. No? No. Oof, that's good. Nice. I'll do both at once. I like the wavy playfield to represent a river. river. Yes, very clever. Perilous world. Yeah. Don't remember the Smurfs world being this perilous. No. Gargamel. <laughs> he's not even in this. It's just his castle. <laughs> the snake goes right over the river. Well, he could be a water snake. Yeah. Spider is not much of a challenge. Yeah. More the stairs are a challenge. Usually the game looks great. If they yeah. use the mechanics a little, it would be a great game. Yeah. The, the it jumping, is a cute game. The jumping is a bit, you know... Terrible. A bit terrible. It's a bit terrible. Okay. Oh my god, this level is just... It's repeating. It's little, I want to get to that level. A little, little uh, tedious, but... Oh, Smurf's pretty cute, though. Uh-oh. This isn't even a level with... Uh, Oh, it is. Oh, because there's not too many sprites on no, the screen. No, too many sprites. They could have Aww, kept the bat below the her. There we go. Uh, next one is Zaxxon. Do you have the cart for this one? Let's see how well they represent a 3D world. In... There oh. you go. Am I doing oh, it's a forward one. So there's up and down, left and right for oh, height. Do I have to dodge that thing? You have to dodge. Uh, I think you got hit by a bullet. No, no, I, I, that guy didn't disappear when I shot him. So. Oh, maybe you have to dodge him. Do you have to go in, in these in between yes, areas? Yes, you do. And then go down and shoot that thing. Go down. Oh my god, oh. Because you can see your um, shadow. Oh. Oh, I see. You go down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, you're higher. You're higher than it. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I think you have to I, go on I the get. Left I that. get the up and down and up. Oh, it's opposite. <laughs> oh, you're gonna run into it. Oh. oh okay. You can go over it. Okay. Um, not bad. They took uh, a three-quarter view perspective and put it s straight forward, like a f almost first-person, like third-person perspective. <laughs> RC70 says, wow, that's an odd perspective. Never seen anything quite like it. Neither have I. It's a oh, straightforward 3D perspective. <sighs> a lot of fire. Uh, made by, uh, distributed by Coleco, made by, I don't know. Ew. 2454. That is the cartridge number. I see that on the side it's showing your your height. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you can tell by your shadow as well, but that helps a lot. Oh, and the uh, round thing are fuel, and your fuel is at the bottom. The ground green things, I believe, are fuel, so you have to shoot them once in a while. Not too often, but... Get that. It should... Yeah, it is fuel. Okay. Um. 
I'm pretty good, actually. No, really. <laughs> it's it's not the easiest. Couch it's pretty complaint. cool, though. Not couch complaint. I always had trouble with this game. I played this on the C64, and it was three quarters yeah. view perspective, and I always found it really challenging because of the height. Yeah. Um, Goferman96 says, love this one on A8. This version looks super weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's unlike it's, any other version. It, it is. And someone says, uh, first orthogonal game. Ever like Zaxxon? Yeah. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Uh, first, first one like this. This is really creative and interesting, though. This just like Not the perspective. It is. It is really interesting. It is definitely a little little where, chunky. Where things get bigger. Chunking, chunking along oh, there. But, oh, um, and then you go into cool. space. And then you and shoot you these guys. Space. Still following the same perspective. Uh, no, it's, there's no up and down in this. In in the... Um, well, there is up and In the down. real version. No, you can't go up and down. No, no, but you go up and down along that axis. The up and down axis to shoot things lower and, and higher up. Not in this, not in this uh, segment. You don't go up and down at all. Oh, no, no, not in this one. Sorry. Yeah. But in the original Zaxxon, you do. Yeah. Uh, makes it very difficult to fight in space. Mm -hmm. No auto fire. Pain in the ass. Especially games where you don't run out of bullets, I think there should always be auto fire. What? Oh. Four lives left. Pretty generous with lives. This is not a bad conversion at all, considering the limitations of the 2600. They did a great job. Um, because they have different size things coming at you. Like, it gets bigger as it um, gets closer towards you. Good tip from Nostalgic. The advice I heard on the arcade game for checking your height was to see if your shots hit a wall. Yes. Smart. Yes. And it does work on this as well. I'll show you Yeah. This. No, I, I, you saw, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm hitting a wall, hitting yeah. a wall. Yeah. I always end up running into the energy barriers. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, the original was a great game. Hardest part is getting the correct altitude. Yeah, it's like you yeah. think you're at the right height, and it's like, no, no, no. you're not. You're not tight. Cool game. Have you played this before? Uh, not the 2600 version. No. no. It's really quite decent. Oh, okay. Uh, next one is No Escape by Imagic. Zaxxon RC70. Doesn't fit in my light sixer. No? No. It's too chonky. Chonky. Which one is this again? Sorry? This looks like a what Coleco. Game? What game? It's not. Uh, no escape. This cartridge almost looks like a Coleco cartridge. Very strange size. It's too wide. Never played this before. I have no idea. Oh, you're shooting the top out. So it's kind of like Breakout. You're shooting those dudes as well. Try and catch the uh, things coming from the roof. No. Uh, no. 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 Oh. So you're shooting them and you're shooting the top. But they're am I not trying shooting to, Am I you. trying to destroy the top? Never played is it, it before. like Breakout? But it is letting you destroy the top. And you're getting points from it. Anyone? Oh, hit them with the falling roof. There Is that what we you're go. To do? Yeah, there you go. Oh, you missed it. Hit the wall. That makes sense. Thank you, Charles Whelan. Oh, if you hit them, they double. Gotcha. Ah, so you don't want to hit them. There, that's how you get them. Okay. Ah, whoops. <laughs> Good graphics on the enemies. Very colorful. Shoot around them. Oh, nice. On the bottom one's the hardest hit to hit because it has to travel the furthest. Oh. And doubled. <laughs> and don't shoot it. them or they come back. Uh, by a magic, uh, also called Escape from Argos. Uh, made by Michael Green, 720055-18. I guess you could run out of bricks at the top. Oh, close. Oh, nope. Can you shoot more than one at a time? Oh, you yes. can. Okay. Yeah. No, 
Nice. Gotcha. And you get points okay. for what's left at the top. Don't okay. shoot them or they come back. Or they come back in double. And skeleton men. Oh, they shoot you now. Uh oh now No, they were they shooting come. before. Really? Yeah, I swear. Oh. Oh, come on. No, it can't get any worse. <gasps> oh, they oh, they're reverse. tricky. Tricky. Tricky skeletons. Oh, my God. They're doing that on purpose. <laughs> Welcome, Yorgi's Castle! Interesting game. Is it fun? Oh, it doesn't come look on! Fun. Looks challenging. This is ridiculous. Oh, stop going! Why is it curving that way? There we go. Because you're moving. Must it's be. Cur it's curving. If you stop, do you go straight up? Yeah. Okay. You have to avoid their bullets, you have to avoid the falling roof. Back to fall. Because they keep coming forward. I think they're they're gonna go backwards. There we go. <laughs> Fun once you get the hang of Yeah. Actually, right, seventy. This wow. is a really good batch. Oh, look at that animation. Oh, look at that. The, the pillars went down. Wow. Cool. Give it to me. I Don't lost, <laughs> but that's a cool ending. Uh, Lots of magic. Now it so. makes sense. Now, I mean, uh, first level's easy once you know what you're doing. Oh, and they. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Why is it curving? Yes, it's because of the direction you're facing. And these guys, yeah, the next level when they start going back and forth, they really screw you up. It's very neat. Boom! 14 seconds! You have very good graphics on the columns, but a magic is like. is masters of color and graphics. No! I wasn't even moving! Mm -hmm. No! Well, I didn't hear them, so that's good. No escape at the end shows someone flying away. <laughs> yep. Pegasus escapes. Oh, God. No. Oh, oh, come back. Oh, good oh, job. Oh, my God. That was lucky. Very lucky. It's like almost a timeout where mm -hmm. you have to stop moving and then... Oh, uh, it's after skeletons. I need to know. Way in advance of the guy. Way, way late now. <laughs> yeah, I will. I want to see what's after the I know. skeletons. I would too. It's the nice graphics. Oh, oh, almost. So close. Predictably shoots, though, which is nice. Probably at the later levels, he doesn't predictably shoot. There you go. Let's oh. see what the next level is. That's a pretty fun game. It's, I like it's it. It's not bad. No, it's interesting. Oh my god, it's flying. Sketsies. Whoa, look at the moon. Oh, the sketsies are coming sketsies. for you now. Whoa, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Which I've never, I never saw hard. the reboot of that uh, show. No, it's supposed to be good. I know, it is. Now you have to use the curveball. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> um, not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Actually, die and show, show it again after you die. Look at that. So good. So good. Uh, next one is Sky Skipper by mm -hmm. Parker Brothers. Uh, Sky Skipper, uh, nobody knows who made it. It's PB5350. Okay, let me play this to okay. show you. Is it complex? Uh, you can really, play it. You but... can play it. You don't have to show me. Uh, should you reset the time? Oh, yes. Let's start to give it a good five minutes. That looks like a flying ostrich. I'm sure that's not the game I'm thinking of. Oh, no, it's a, it's a plane. So you gotta bomb plane? this dude, and then you go down, and you get all three. Oh, God. It's a plane. Okay. You have to bomb the gorilla. Poor gorilla. <laughs> and don't hit the wall. Uh, 
weird concept. It's all about gorillas, isn't it? Yeah. Kitties? Get the kitties. <gasps> kitties! Oh, kitties. And then I'm done that. Then They're very goes. sleepy. They're right here right now. And they are sleepy because it's hot. You can only see one on the kitten can, but... Um... Then you go on to the next one, and you bomb that gorilla. The uh, arcade was just as weird. And you can pretty much only get one side. Oh, well, the other one's flashing. Uh, it stops flashing after a bit. Yay! Yay! What a weird game! Weird, super weird, justice for Harambe. Exactly. So he gets back up. It's a silly game. And go up to the next thing. The arcade is not quite like this. I can't remember what it was like. I looked at it a couple, like a month ago. And it's similar-ish. Oh, I have to do that guy still. Oh, running out of fuel. I get it, so you don't want to yeah. run out of fuel. into the wall. Have to do it all over again. Uh, oh, oh, I have to go all the way to the top again. Oh, not that far. I have to get two bunnies. Yay, Yay level Cut two. It's, tis a silly game. <laughs> and there's obstacles now. All right. Based on a very obscure Nintendo arcade game, it tested poorly and Nintendo ended up converting the cabinets to Popeye. <laughs> this was the only port until it got to the Switch. It's on the Switch? That's Why? hilarious. Why? Just because they made it, right? Mr. Zarna, Atari is not super invested in this game. <laughs> no. All right. Your turn. My turn? Play this masterpiece. Uh, masterpiece of a game. Oh, you move continuously. I can see. Yep. Um, made by Parker Brothers, so Atari had really nothing to do with this game. <laughs> yep, watch those walls. There's only one cabinet known to exist as far as I'm aware, and Nintendo owns it. Wow! That's a rare arcade game. That's definitely rare. One. Oh, God. Ultra rare. Very unremarkable 2600 game. Now, the rare ones are all usually the least interesting, so... Yeah, because it's like, well, nobody wanted to play it, and they got rid of all of them. <laughs> Bunnies and little chicks. Oh good, you rescue bunnies. Wasn't sure what was going to happen there. Oh, yeah. You just rescue the bunnies from the angry thing. I don't know why the things flash when you bomb them, but that's the logic of arcade games. <laughs> it's, it's more about don't touch the walls than anything else. Exactly. And just navigation. The actual Gameplay isn't hard. Like the concept, it's, like, it is. you bomb it and you go get the things. Oh, I didn't go backwards. Stop it. VCS disagrees with I you. I know. It's very sensitive. I'm done. Don't <laughs> slam the buttons. Boom. I will slam them if I look. You'll have to uh, order another one from Bratwurst. That's very true. I will. <laughs> Next one is Strawberry Shortcake Musical Matchups. So get to play Strawberry Shortcake now. Cute. First Smurfs, now Strawberry Shortcake. This is like my childhood, all wrapped up there into one go. show. Uh, it's made by Parker Brothers, uh, made by Don Stockbridge. Uh, PB5910. And I believe you just match, match up things. What? I don't know. There you go. You did it. This is definitely a kid's game. 
Okay, that's adorable. Cute music. Quite good graphics. Very good graphics, actually. And they're able to use both um, two colors on the same line because there's only one character on the screen. <laughs> it's only one thing on the screen, but very, very good graphics. I think the, uh, the cake maker guy still has the best graphics for face. This has more detail. The other guy was just a face. It's right? treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Good time for treats. So the cats woke right up. Are you hungies? Want some treats? You do? Well, I'm gonna get Tanya to feed you because they stink. And I'll play strawberry shortcake. There's not really much to play. Oh. Sprite got one. Feed Sprite. You dinged it. Was that Waluigi? It was Waluigi. the precursor to Waluigi. Oh, Sprite. Okay, done okay, again. okay. Atari okay, is they're zero. Coming. They're coming. Oh Atari my god, he's Atari. <laughs> there you go. Sprite has like 20. I'll give one to Atari because I'm. He's cute. That's not right. I didn't yeah. have to do anything. No, you just have to. Yes. It, it was all matching right away. Well, no, what? it's it's a kid's game. You just have to. There's different, different oh, people. Oh, you make it yourself. Yeah. Oh, is that? No. They're in order, That one, though. probably. Maybe. Oh, they all have different music. But they're in order. Like, you go one to the right. Oh, they're no. not in order. They Are you were gonna last have time. One? Are you going to have one? You ring the bell? Did you ring the bell? Atari. Purple Pie Man. Try again. Yeah, he's, he's the bad guy. I, maybe the name comes up when you get it right. Oh, now know. it's randomizing Jared, it. Hit there it! Hit it! Hit it! Let's do the that one. You're not smacking it hard enough, Atari. Is that right? You did good smack. Hit it! Sprite has it down. Oh, yeah? Atari, hit it! He's like, why am I not getting any treats? understand that I hear bells ringing. Okay, oh, that's good it. enough. That's good enough. There's one for you. Poor little kitties. Atari did ring the bell. I, I missed that. Oh no, that's why he's so upset. Yeah, good kitty, good kitty. Good kitty. This game sucks. <laughs> I actually have this game in the box in the other room. Do you? Yes. So I do have a cartridge. It's just in a box. I keep the boxes complete. Excellent restaurant service, correct. Oh, yes. They ding, we supply. One more? Hit it, hit it harder. Hit it harder. Hit it harder. Hit it harder. Give it a good smack. Maybe it's not. Here. Come on. Oh, he's so gentle. He's too gentle. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> Sprite. He's like, ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. hello, where is my entree? What happens if you get it wrong? He doesn't care. I don't know. It's a child. <laughs> like a three-year-old. Good kitty. <laughs> Good kitty. One more. Who gets it first? There's Sprite. variations in this game? <laughs> okay, oh, okay, there okay. There you go. There you go. Good kitties. Good kitties. Thank you. Who oh, oh, triggered that? Oh, it went off the screen. Oh. Uh, Mr. Zarnaloop. Yay, thank you, Mr. Zarnaloop. <gasps> the sun moves. Oh, there's timed ver versions. I'm sure if you know all the strawberry shortcake character characters, you know what clothing they're supposed to wear, and you probably have to get it correct. There's strawberry shortcake. Oh, it's oh. over. Huckleberry pie. Oh, there you go. There's all the all the oh, okay. costumes. Blueberry muffin. Cats can go back to bed now. Lime yeah. chiffon. Lime chiffon. Nice. I'm getting this in a box because it's the one game both me and my wife played as a bunch as a kid. Yeah. Oh. Is there I'm a really game that plays cartoon. only with buttons? We should have the cats play and see what happens. Oh, jeez. They just ring, 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 ring it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, where's the treats? Smacking the button treats. It's a kid's game. It's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is Polaris. By Tiger Vision by Robert H. O'Neill. Uh, still in April, 1983. 7 007. Players. Two. So I can play. Oh, two at once. 
Maybe. Nope. Nope. Just you. Is it? Shoot those planes! Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, oh. That's so close. Oh, I almost got two and one. Oh. Hooray! Oh my god, that looks bad. Oh. oh! Ooh, gotta get out of the way of that one. It's my turn now. Yes, it goes oh, back yes. and forth. There oh, how come I have two planes? I had two planes. I got one right oh, away. Oh, okay. I was reading. Mm -hmm. What? Went right in between them. Advanced air sea battle. And graphics are. Well, okay. Jump Ninja is button only, right? Yep. <laughs> what if they can beat your high score? <laughs> they you, might be able to. You know what? Just if Sprite can beat James's high score, um. <laughs> He deserves all the truth. Uh, we'll just start a channel for him and he can just stream like 24, well hours, 24 hours a day. Be the best stream ever. <laughs> Your ding, turn. ding, Watch ding. Out. Oh. No, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't give me heads up. I did. I said nope. your turn. No, nope. too late. Way too late. Do you have to kill him? I guess. Yep. Bombs go directly. Oh. Oh, oh no. He's back. Oh, God, this guy's hard. There nice. We go. Oh, flip. Oh my god. Oh, totally different game. Wow. It's uh what's the game? Uh It's uh it's River Raid. River Raid. With no enemies. So I can shoot, but there's no enemies. I guess they might be coming up. Maybe. Can I slow down? Oh, I can. Bad cats out there. Oh, wow. Mm. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Nice animation on the plane. Of the uh turning? Yeah. Good colors, good graphics. Yeah, I like the planes. They have a lot of detail. Plays a little shallow. Not a lot of danger for the most part, except for this plane. This plane's a little tricky. Go very long far. We didn't even bomb that time. Where's he coming? There, there we, go. we go. Go go go! Oh, mine, mine, mine! Oh, oh, they come back. I see. It said to level three, so you're like transitioning. You're going to the next level. Oh my god! That's really clever. Like you have to travel to the next level. Can you shoot them? Uh oh, maybe. I have to try. Oh, that's much easier. Oh, auto fire. Yeah, really. Oh, and then you hit one. They, they all, all die. disappear. Oh, that's that's good. those cats up too. Uh, that's the pinball. Oh, is he's it? Been, oh, thank goodness. He's been playing it today. Has he? Yeah. Cute cat. This is kind of cool. Kind of cool. I wouldn't say great, but it's pretty good. There's not a lot of room now, those subs. I can't do anything. Can I get under them and shoot them? Oh, oh. thank God. They're too, it's not enough room. Nice. Uh, oh, that guy nice. is challenging. Nice. Shoot. Ooh, they're faster now. Uh, I don't like kitty. that you shoot one and they all disappear. Oh. Uh, I'd say it's a good game. Yeah. Not a great I like that it has game. transitions. Yes. Variety. And it, this is a good kind of maze kind of. Yeah, maze I thing. don't. That's pretty cute. It's just. 2600 says, very well made. I wish I owned this back in the day. Yep. Yeah, it's is, not a bad game. Yep. Yeah. What about the track and field controller? A small homebrew could associate bell sounds with the left and right. <laughs> it would have to be ding, a very ding. slow game. And they would have to, like, be trained to can you, act to something on the screen. Uh, can you like, get... Uh, what is it called? You've got me chatting while I'm trying to figure it out. The, um... Oh God, what is it called? The extra thing that you put in that makes voices. Oh, Atari Vox. You need the Atari Vox to say, Good kitty! When, when they hit the button. Yes. <laughs> Good kitty! Uh, That'd be pretty funny. Yep, yeah, you could use the track and field controller. That has a nice button. Um, and just say, like, any of the three ding, buttons react. Ding. And you could have the game say something. Good kitty! After, after the cat presses it, say yeah. good kitty, and dispense a treat. Yes. You can make joystick port number two react, like open, a, open, a, open something. Yeah. Okay, next one is Flash Gordon. 
which I do have a cartridge, but I'm not going to open it because it is sealed. Oh, sealed. Fancy. Kind of, well, it's not factory sealed, but it is sealed. It's sealed. You don't want to. Yeah. You don't no, want to. No reason to tear that open. Um, by 20th Century Fox, made by David Lubar, also known as Space Adventurer in Zellers. 11015. Okay. okay. I will play this because yeah. it is. Oh, gotta rescue those guys. Oh, start it? Yep. It I is Couch start. Compliant. Now, this has very unique um, way to play. See that down there on the bottom? There's a, there's a path. I'm the little, I'm the, the dot. Gosh, okay. That's fine. You see, I, I'm the yeah. dot there. Now you're simultaneously navigating through this maze and, oh my god, and the bottom. Oh. So when you go down on the bottom, you go down here. Actually, it doesn't go down. But you go left and right. You go left and right here. So you have to navigate your way. What are those things that are coming for you? They are... You can't kill them. But they do come on the screen. It's super cute. Oh my goodness. There's quite a lot going on there. Oh, see that, that cross that just came on the yeah. screen? That zoom by? You can't kill that thing. Actually, you can shoot it, but it just never dies. Very really? Dangerous. So, so you just want to stay away from it? Yeah. And I think you want to go to all of the separate... The cross is coming. Uh, oh, oh, I see. Two of them. It crosses your path. I gotta get... Uh, away from those dudes. Okay, let's go this one. But I think it's one of the most unique... It is very, control, very unusual. ...controls on the oh, system. Oh, is that a shield? Yep. Rescue all those dudes. Let's go get that guy down there. Go up. Go up. Oh. Wraps around probably. Yep. Uh, the graphics are good. It gives you a sense of movement with those little star things. Oop. Okay. That's pretty neat. Let's go down. And then go over. I've never seen this game before. It's really neat. And then when you kill them all, um, it disappears off the bottom. Hmm. I believe we just have to kill all these. All those, those dots. All the dots on the bottom are cleared out. So I've got four more to go. See if I can do it in the time allotted. Get those astronauts. Nice. Mr. Zunarope. Another one I've never played that now I'd like to try. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Oh, 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 oh. So you get a little um, shield when you start yeah. out. Which is nice, because you never know what kind of danger you're going to be in right away. So you have to watch you have to watch the top and the bottom while you're navigating. So those crosses are coming. Okay. The crosses are coming. They are. <gasps> Damn it, one last life. Gotta get over two more to go. <gasps> oh no. This is my last life. Oh, so Lots of nice guys out there. Yeah, you come to me, I'm places to go. There we go. Huh? One more. And the crosses are doing their own thing, which is good. Down the world there. Level one complete! Level two! It's, it's, oh, the crosses are much faster now. So that's the game. Well, there's more things that annoy you now in the game. And, oh, the crosses it's very throw, cool. throw their stuff at you. Yeah, I think that's what they do, basically. And they come on the screen. They interfere. Oh, there's a cross. It zooms right by. And then all those little things come. Deadly. Right. Actually, you just that have was to Flash touch Jordan. Them. Flash Gordon. Did I say Jordan? Yes. <laughs> like uh, Michael Jordan. It's Flash it's Gordon. Pretty good. Pretty good. Would I play it again? Mm, yeah. 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 
Uh, next one is Enduro, which we also have not got all the patches yet for, I believe. No, but we have played it. Yep. Uh, Enduro, uh, that one, the last one was put out in May 1983, 20th Century Fox by David Lubar. Um, this one, uh, May 1983 by David, uh, sorry, Larry Miller, AX026, also called Super Ferrari. Super Ferrari. In some places in the world. Where they can use the Ferrari name. Very creative gameplay design. I like it. I think so too. That last one was super creative. Lots of different enemies. It's got a maze, but it's also a flying game. Oh, come on. It's crazy. This is a great game. Hard. For, for a driving hard. game, it is very hard. Hard game. Um, oh, it's, it's got icy. snow. It's got night times. It's got hills that go in the distance. It's got a really nice thin <laughs> track that goes off into the um, distance to a point. Excellent, excellent graphics. Really nice odometer at the bottom that scrolls. Or that rolls, I guess. Smash. Smashes. And uh, I like how it counts down the number of cards you have to pass. Like, you have a very specific goal. Yeah, the yes, ice you is, do. The ice is bad. You can't uh, turn too quick. I earned one of the patches on this, I believe. Uh, oh. Is there more than one? Let me check my uh, list here. Enduro. Oh, yeah, I did earn this. Uh, on October 1st, 2021. Five days of driving. It's called the Roadbusters patch. And you need to get, uh, yeah, just five days. You just need to make it five days. Now, there was a big debate on what five days meant. But yeah. I believe it puts a trophy on the screen when you make it. So you just have to go to it and get the trophy. Because it's like, do you make it to the fifth day or do you have to make it at the end of the fifth day and the manual was ambiguous about it so i think the trophy comes on the screen when you make it if i remember correctly mm. get to day five yeah yeah that's what it was it was weird because five days of driving is actually four days you get to day five not drive four or five days so it, the manual was written not well Foggy patches. It's so good. It's such a good game. That is sound bad. What is that? Lipstick. Oh god, not even close. Not, open. not even close. You didn't get it open. Oh, day one. So hard. <laughs> So hard. I'm not going very fast to go. either. That's that's the issue. You have to go pretty fast. I Don't know, have to go but then you speed. hit and you get spun back. Yeah, 33. Not you can even do it. Close. You can do it. It's almost daytime. No. But there's no. So many. Oh, oh no! You're not gonna do it. You hit a car. You make the taillights of the middle car slightly more orange. Yeah, so you know where the cars are. Oh. No. Love. Can I do it in 48 seconds? <laughs> no. Unlikely. But you should play some. It's a fun game. Oh, top speed. They look like um, speeding uh, spiders whenever I see them. Like spiders oh, running on a track. Oh, so hot. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, the room is hot, and my hands are hot, <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Equals hot joystick. Hot joystick. <laughs> hot joysticks and even hotter games. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. New, new slogan. Oh, I crashed. 18 seconds to finish. Only 157 cars. <laughs> Are you gonna go fast? Faster, 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 faster. This took a, a, a while to get the patch, if I remember correctly. It just took quite a while. It takes a bit of time. Not impossible. I'd say it's a medium uh, difficulty level. This game, I think. There we go. There we go. And that is Enduro. Next one, Plaque Attack. Back to Plaque Attack. 
Try Activision. Oh, that looks funny. That looks Boop. good. Black attack is placked up. Yeah. Why is it so... Yes. Oh, there we go. It's coming in time. Yeah. It did not like that. Here, two for toothpaste, and you're shooting the burgers, protecting your teeth. Um, uh, Plaque Attack, May 1983 by Activision, Steve, made by Steve Cartwright, AX027, also called Catch Time. Was this one of the games that was reissued? Yes, it was. For Trackball. So if you want to play this the right way, definitely get the reissued Trackball Hack at Atari Age. Part of the Trackball series. Those are all the games that should have been Trackball but weren't Trackball because there's zero games made for the Trackball for 2600. Ooh, get those Infinity fries. fries. Infinity? Is that what they are? Yeah, they've got the Infinity symbol in them. They're Infinity Fries. Oh, oh, protect your teeth! And the teeth so creepy in this game. <laughs> I wonder if they tried to market this as an educational game. They probably did. There, I don't know if anybody remembers. Probably do. How much? How many advertisements and cartoons and PSAs there were about teeth health? Oh, tons! In the seventies and eighties, like an overwhelming amount of things about teeth. No, 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 around. I don't know how to turn around. You gotta move in that direction. So you gotta go up and then down. I know, I know, it's horrible. Yeah, it's. Oh, oh I have no teeth left. Oh, what that is... level, it just suddenly ramps up so fast. Sad looking mouth. Uh, not the donuts, oh. not the donuts! No, 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 teeth left. no, 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 Back no. it up, back it up. I don't know how, because you, you, you turn around. That's the worst part of it. Yeah. No! Oh, no extra teeth. Oh, well, you no. might earn one. No, you didn't earn one. <laughs> All right, your turn. It does. It's like easy, easy, then suddenly, boom, the cherries come along and you're dead. Yeah, this is a challenge. Oh, this joystick's so hot. Yeah, I like that it flips and you have to shoot downwards. It is a nice twist. It is. It makes it challenging. The donuts always do you in. Oh, my oh, friend. Me. Oh, you <laughs> know the donuts. They're always the trouble. It's always the donuts. Hi, kitties. <laughs> yeah, the treats will do you in, my friend. Yes. Treats for cats. He's, he's getting his first uh, trip to the vet and a checkout. Oh, first checkup. Check we'll see how they, uh, whether they go, oh, that cat's teeth. He needs far fewer treats. <laughs> far fewer treats. He's been giving, given too much treats. Yeah. We've been watching the stream and yeah. you're, you're <laughs> yeah. giving him too many treats. You've been feeding him well, right? Uh, no, we've watched the stream. No. <laughs> feeding him. Yeah. Crap. Cat crap. Yeah. You're right, there was a lot of focus on teeth health back then. I guess we got bigger problems these days. Now, was yeah. that because um, there wasn't um, fluoride in the water back no. in the 70s? Or they just I just think they were them? really pushing flossing and brushing teeth. Like, I just remember that being like, I don't know, trying to encourage dental health. I don't know, I don't know. But it was all over the place. Ah, no, 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 no! Oh, no. Once they turn yellow, you're, like, done for. You can't, you can't really save them. Uh, was the, was the Toothbrush Family only Canadian cartoon, or was it an American cartoon? I don't cartoon? know. Does anyone else? I think it might have been actually British. Oh. The Toothbrush Family. And then dubbed? Possibly did dubbed. did not speak British. Or the, it was, um, it was an, originally a different language. I know, I know they also had it in French. I bet it was French first. It could have been French. It looks French. so French. Ah! Yeah. Anybody Anyone else? else? Remember not, the toothbrush family? Not from Canada. They lived in a sink. Brush your teeth. 
round and round. They're friends with sponges Circle and stuff. Circle small, gums and all. Oh a small soft toothbrush, the round and round wave will keep your gums healthy and stop tooth decay. So clean very carefully three times a day. Go round and round. No, and it sounds really horrifying. Yorkie's Castle says it's that was their song. Pretty weird. Atari Video Cube. May 1983, made by, I don't know, uh, CX 2670. What, what is Atari it? Atari Video Cube. Oh, Atari Video Cube. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Those were excellent looking donuts, yeah. I'm... I don't know how to play this. Um... Yeah. This... <laughs> oh, cube. Oh, you have to pick a cube. Press a button. Oh, okay. You're flipping to sides. Okay. You're changing colors. <laughs> Anybody know how to play this? <laughs> I gotta look it up. Oh, let's, let's restart that. So I can look it up. Oh, the whites. You can't go through the whites. Oh, okay. Hmm. What? Da, da, da. Scoring the object uh, is to uh, get the lowest score possible. Okay. If you're playing blah, 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 blah. And every time you walk, your Even score time, goes up. Yeah, it crosses a new square, picks up a color, or attempts to cross a square of his own color. Oh, you're oh. orange. Oh. Oh, now you have to... Change. I picked up blue. I picked up orange. No green. I can't cross over that. What is going on? <laughs> you swap the color you're carrying, can't cross through. Okay. But what's the goal? What is the goal? Let's see. Oh, you drop the color you have, and you pick up the color you're on. Right. So then what is the goal here? You're trying to make three in a row. Uh, arrange the color so oh. each side becomes one solid color. There you go. So you want to make this orange, because most of them are orange. Oh. So you go find an orange. Yeah, there you go. And bring it back. Oh. Oh, because you can't cross. That wasn't the one, though. Oh, hard. So basically you're cheating at Rubik's Cube, yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my god. So you want to fill the center outwards, really. I guess. Because if you leave the last color, the center one, you can't get to it. That's the problem. Interesting. Not you kind of idea. have to pick sides. Like, okay, and I'm putting orange here, side. and then I'm putting green. Oh, it is challenging. There's orange. That's blue. That's orange. That's white. Blue. Yeah, it is an interesting puzzle game. The animation's pretty good, too. Um, in terms of the flipping. It's very convincing. Even though it's really, really quick. I've read somewhere? Oh, you have to plan this out. This is awful. <laughs> well, try and just complete one side. Just bring all the oranges to one side. Or reds or whatever. Hi. I'm guessing there are only nine reds, nine greens, etc. There we go. Bring that one over. No, no, no. There's a blank. There we go. One more. Wonder what happens. It just stays probably. Oh, no, it's happy. Cube rotations were one of the highlights, yeah. The mini ones are infuriating. I'd like to re see a really well-engineered mini, like the Rubik's Cubes, yeah. Funny, I was just fooling around with the mini Rubik's Cube, Dan says. This is an interesting one. It's right up your alley, isn't it? You're having fun, aren't you? <laughs> but at least 
you can completely cross over a finished one without ever worrying about it because you'll never be red. True. Oh, you're green. Go deposit the green one. Oh, no, you were green already. Hmm? Oh, you're making that pink. Okay. So many pinks. No whites. Oh, that's pink to me. That's pink. Get out of there. Get. Oh, you can deposit it there. That was green, right? Get those other greens. There's two more greens to put there. There's also timed variations where you're trying to complete as fast as possible. What stops you from picking anything up? Nothing. Nothing at all, really. You're only blocked from moving across something when you are that color. Ooh, so close to the pink. Or white. <laughs> it's very, very light pink. It's not pink, it's white. Pink. What is pink? What are you talking about? You're pink right now. There is no pink. <laughs> what are you pink. talking about pink? That's pink. You're Where's pink. White? Where's my white screen? There. So this one's counting up. I want to see Tanya finish this. No, no, no. No? You're really close. No, I'm not. Nowhere near close. <laughs> okay. You've got two sides done. Where's You've almost white? got a three, third Where's one. white? I know there isn't any white. Yes, there is. <laughs> oh my god. I have to memorize where these things are. There it is. That terrible buzz noise. That's that's when she's trying to walk across something. Hmm. Why is there? Why are they all orange? Well, you know oh where the oranges God. are. Oh, there's all your orange. Good at figuring this out. Just have to go up and around. Where are my purples there? <laughs> purples all over. It's a big wall of purples. Oh. Perfect. Down, up, down, up. Yay, purple's done. Oh, blue's almost done. It's like memorizing where things are. Why was that? I don't oh. know. I think because it wrapped around. Am right? I done? Yep. Oh, Man. geez, that took forever. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! See, you weren't that far from winning. Oh. Now for massive frustration. It's minor 2049er. Oh, nostalgia 26. It um, the world in E.T. was also a cube. It would be interesting to project that onto a cube like this and see how it plays. Oh. <laughs> that would be interesting. Minor 2049er, May 1983 by Tiger Vision. Cart number 7-008. No, right? no, 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 yeah. no. What was it? Minor... Minor 2049er. 20, 2049er. Platformer from hell. Is it? And you can play it. You love your platforms. I I'm getting a drink. Do. I'm coming oh, right back. I'm water, please. Yeah. I'm very, very thirsty. I know. It's very warm in here today. Hey, why did it reset? <laughs> what is happening? Is it showing all the screens? There we go. Oh, so slow. He's so slow. Mega frustration coming indeed. Can you walk? Can you get that one? Can you get one over? Or does he fall down? No, he falls down. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, that was close. 
you have to get all the left ones, then you have to hop and get all the right ones. Actually, it's not too bad. It's, he's just really slow. He could have gone way faster. So I know I can't get that. Stock at five minutes, oh. then it's this game forever. Yep. Playing this for the, <laughs> playing this for the oh, rest of the night. Water. I'm so sorry. Thirsty, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> sorry, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I don't think I can hop across that. So I'll get it. Take out these two guys. On the C64 version, don't they look like potatoes? Oh, I couldn't get them. Oh my god, that's okay. Oh, nostalgic's off. Need to hit off. I'll catch the rest on VOD. Thanks for continuing the tour of 1983. Have a good rest of the night. I should make a tour t shirt, huh? 1983 tour and list some of the best and worst games of 1983. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have to do the whole thing again? Why? Can I help across this? Oh, I can. Good. Why, 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 why? Why does it have to reset? Now we'll do this properly. Ugh. Like I legitimately got those. I have to be so perfect on the ladder. Oh, thank you. Oh, so much ice, not enough water. Was this oh, a restaurant? It all melted. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. It'll stay. The cold. only problem with um, you have to cover the ground. Ice is if the ice is old, and then it's like well, oh, or if it's, it fine. doesn't. It yeah, if it's been sitting in the freezer, freezer for too long. Yeah. Are you intentionally jumping over some? Um, well, I can't get those because if I touch the ones on the slide, yeah, I go down the slide. So you really want to get the ones on the slide last, last like as you go down. And I think you only get <gasps> one Is that of a beer? them. Get a beer. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I gotta get this guy. I just gotta run for it. Oh. Oh, yeah, summer stairs, summer slides. And they actually represent them pretty well. Like, you can tell what slides and what stairs. And yeah. they use the uh, well play field well really enough. nicely for them. And there's, like, a power-up. This countdown. Yeah, 709, 707. So I have to be careful. Oh, my God! Oh, smush! <gasps> uh, oh, smush! You have to do it all over again. Oh, no! Uh, why? Why would they do that? Oh, I hate this game. Why are they so mean? Extremely mean. Can you jump over? The slide? Yeah. Yeah, like there? I might as well do that. I would call those ladders. Oh, snakes and ladders. Slides and ladders. Yeah. What did I call them? I called them ladders, didn't I? I thought you did. Yep, slides and ladders. Slides and shoots, whatever. Shoots and ladders. <laughs> Wherever uh, in the world you're from. I'm going to call them. Candyland. There are some, um, like, there's snakes and ladders, the game, board game, yeah. right? And then there's shoots and ladders. And that's Isn't probably, Candyland that's shoots British. and ladders too? I think it's British. It's shoots or am I can get it confused? Shoots and ladders is. Can I get this? I think I can barely get it. Oh, not if he turns around. <gasps> oh no. Oh, you run, you jump so much faster. Oh wow, that helps. Auto fire. What's gonna happen here? Do I have to jump this guy? I think you do. You can't. You didn't even hit him. F this game. What is this? What is this? I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this version of the game. The game is, mm. it's a good concept, but, and they've executed it well, except for the slowness and the jumping is not high enough. Mm. We're done. We're done with this game. 30 seconds early. <laughs> hate it. Hate it. Uh, James has some strong, 
Strong feelings. I want to like this game so much. Okay, next game is The Earth Dies Screaming. Oh my. <laughs> that is quite a name. Subtitled The Day the Earth Stood Still. Oh my goodness. Uh, made by 20th Century Fox. Made by Dan Thompson. 11020. So, you have your radar at the bottom, or at the top, sorry. And you press up to go up to them. And then you shoot them. And then repeat. And I don't think you can shoot the bullets, so you just have to, like, get, get out of the way of the bullets. I did bring up the uh, instructions for this. Like, somebody said, oh, you need the instructions. I'm like, hmm. Not too bad. Uh, steer your space to start explore towards the approaching enemy by tilting the joystick in the appropriate direction. The scrolling pattern of the Earth's surface, the stars visible through the destroyer window, and the radar scanner show which direction you travel. Yeah. Am I getting hit? It looks like I am, but I'm not sure how to avoid it. I, I couldn't figure that out. Uh, every time you're hit by trillion fire, the view window will flash blue. Uh. Every time you hit a trillion, the view will flash red. So red. Oh, you can't really dodge them. No. Oh, yeah. I don't know what no, it was off screen and it still hit you. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. You can dodge them. You just have to keep keep moving. Just keep shooting. 20th Century Fox made some pretty cool games. Yeah, they're they're up there. They're pretty good. So far, I have not checked off any games that I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. Like, well, I mean, I other than this. the classics, really. The cute one was, was cute. I didn't hate that. Yeah. Um, the Flash Gordon one was pretty impressive for me. I, I had not seen it before. Yep, that one's pretty impressive. Would I, like, play it again? Would I pick it out and go, yeah, I want to play this? I don't think so. Because it's... Even though it's really awesome, it's kind of the same saving all the time. Yeah. Oh, hit me. No, I think you completed that level. No. Oh, your score's going crazy. I think mm. I died. Oh, my turn. The blue, it's not the red flash. The red flash means you've hit it. The, the blue flash means it's hit you, which is kind of opposite to what you would expect. Yeah. Some the... notable movies from 1983 to go along. Blue Thunder War Games. Yeah. Return of the Jedi, Superman 3, Scarface, Vacation, Flashdance, and Staying Alive. I did not see Flashdance or Staying Alive. Flashdance was good. Is it? Iconic. I liked it. I avoided I had it the... because it just looked like a uh, dancing singing movie. Is there singing in it? No singing, it's mainly okay. dancing. Uh, I, I loved it, but also it had a fantastic soundtrack. So my right. mom had the soundtrack on record. So <laughs> we vinyl. would dance around the living room uh, to that <laughs> one on vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, your sights automatically go to the vertical position. Yes, to is, wherever it is. Which is kind of... Cool. Yeah, because then you don't have to adjust up and down. You just have to center yeah. yourself. The adjusting up and down is so you get them. It's so in you're on your the same sights. plane. Yeah. 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 Aliens was good. Do you mean Aliens came out? Oh, from 20th Century Fox. The game. I'm guessing. The game was okay. That was cool. Yeah. The movie is spectacular. Oh yeah. Classic. Come on. Oh, God. A lot there. In fact, the Earth is going to die screaming. I don't know how you avoid those bullets. I heard Scarface Vacation and immediately Scarface pictured clips vacation. from Scarface with an upbeat, upbeat sitcom <laughs> theme song. Have, uh, has anybody ever seen the... Um, movie trailers where they completely changed the uh, genre of the film. So good. <laughs> what, so what ones do you remember from that they changed the genre? Oh, I just had one in mind, but now I've forgotten it. Um, oh, oh, uh, they did um, 
The Shining as a comedy. Oh. Or, or like a family comedy film, feel good film. That's funny. And it completely works. Where they just go on, <laughs> go on vacation and have a fun time up in the woods. And, <laughs> it's really good. They catch you up at once. And it's edited, right? To make it look like well, that's they, what it is. Yeah, yeah, they take, you know, specific clips from clips. the film and re re engineer it into a different story. You know, they thing. take like the what's up doc and make it funny. Mm. Like the the Grady saying that. Mm. Mm. Not Grady. Um Scatman Crothers, I can't remember the name. Yeah, yeah, I know who of the guy in the film. Funny. Um The Shining is a romantic comedy. <laughs> not romantic comedy. Um, no. a family comedy. Yeah. It'd be really good. Okay, Space Master X7 is the next one. Excellent. Lots of space themed ones. Oh, space is always a mainstay in the 80s for games. Uh, 20th Century Fox, Space Master. Oh, yeah. This one is it. also out on the um, rollerball, I believe. So oh, I think you this? have to go through the openings. And shoot the center. If I remember correctly. There you go. Gotcha. Uh, made by 20th Century Fox, made by David Lubar, 11022. Oh. You got zapped. Avoid them. Avoid. Go through the holes. Atari 2600 dude says, this game is pretty good, just need to know how to play. Oh, now they're moving fast. Now it's getting hard. Now you have to kind of get inside to get a shot on. I can't even do the diagonal cool. anymore. What's going on here? We're, oh, there you go. Ugh, trying to get the diagonal. It's a good tactic when it's small, because you can't get inside of it. Well, I have this for Atari 8, but it's called Alpha Shield. So go, says go for man. Superman 3, that was Richard Pryor. They're supposed to have Brainiac in the movie, but they changed it to a supercomputer. Interesting fact, Atari did a computer-type game in the movie with Superman avoiding missiles. Oh. There was a game in the movie? that they show in the movie that Atari oh, made. Oh, got me. Everyone's closing in. Oh. Super fast, though. Oops, stop. Love the concept of this game. Oh, oh no. the DNA is coming after me. The DNA is Not coming to DNA. alter what you are. Come on. Just really? Again. Uh-oh. The blocks. Oh. It's this oh, one. Oh! I didn't even realize it had restarted. Is also a trackball reissue hack that you can get at Atari Age. As you can see, this one would be very good with a rollerball. God, stop running into things. We did a whole special show on all the trackball games. Do you remember? Do yeah, you remember? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we I played forgot. them all in one game. One day. I'm guessing that was the one they did the What's Up Doc thing, Peter Gabriel song, and, and ju it's just called Shinning. Pac Man 2600 sound effects in that oh. Superman 3 type game. Yeah, a lot of video games in the 80s and 90s and even 2000s in TVs and movies, they just used the, the 2600 Pac Man sound. I don't know why that one. It was. I guess they somebody licensed it for a CD compilation of sound effects, video game sound effects, and I guess everybody just uses the same video game oh, sound effects. Oh, right effect. into it. How many lives? A lot, apparently. Oh, oh there you go. Ah, that is a fun game. It's challenging. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. 
Yeah, you really do want to get in there. So you take the battery from positive to negative. You see that? Mm. That's so cool. Come on. One to zero. Oh. oh my god, got too close. Yep, this one's a good one. It starts off fairly simple. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of stuff to avoid. I was very close to that. Yes, though. you were. Like one Respect. pixel away. All oh, right. Play it. Oh, it's fun. Some of them you just, you're like, oh, this is a fun game. Okay. What's next? Uh, I would give that one a, a check mark, actually. Yeah. Next one's Robot Tank. <laughs> yeah. Made by Act. Division by Alan Miller, AZ028, also called Robot Tank, with no space. Now, uh, I have some comments from Atari Age Forum about each of these games. Caffeman says, a surprising uh, amount of good fun games there, especially compared to some of the prior show selections of 8283. I like the most Enduro, Jungle Hunt, Qbert, Robot Tank, and Keystone Capers, and MASH just for nostalgia. Ferret face. I'm going to check off Space Master so, on my list. Not sure. I'm sure that T flashing means I've been hit in some way. Yes, those are your four different things you need. R for radar. T for oh. tracks. T for tracks. Oh, switch to reserve tank. Um, I've never and been Jason a big fan of tank games. T is your traction. Yeah. Treads, traction, tires. Not my f not, these are not my favorite games. Oh, it's nighttime. I know. Jason Atari says a lot of great games in this lot. Keystone Capers, and Enduro, Crackpots, and the official Frogger being the obvious ones. I would consider <gasps> Space Master X7, Flash Gordon, Death Trap, and Blueprint to be hidden gems. I've always had a soft spot for the 2600 version of Tutankham, even though it's nothing like the arcade version. Fog alert. The radar's out. Thomas Yench says it's enduro for me from this list. London Blitz has some nice looking and cleverly done 3D maze. Disarming the bombs is pretty complicated. You should have a look at the manual. Dave M says Solar Fox may be my all time favorite 2600 game. I used to be able to roll the score back in the day. Can't come close now. It may be the only game where I like the 2600 version better than the arcade version. You can shoot their oh. shots too, they said. Yes, you can. Atari 8 bits is the future. Yes. Yes. It is. <laughs> the 8 bit fu future. Who needs more than 8 bits, right? Oh, you got uh, 8 tanks you've killed so far. I'm just like, just keep shooting, really. Oh, you got your radar. Yeah, good idea. Oh, shoot their shots. Oh, mm, something. Sometimes you can get it. You got me. is out. Your cannon. Oh, no. Oh, your cannon malfunctions. Oh, you got another one. Oh, it's in the again. Nice. Maybe you'll get your patch. What's the patch score for this? Robot tank. Yay, defeated. Woo! 48 tanks you have to kill. Okay, you can play <laughs> this side. This is like... No, nope, you keep playing. <sighs> Tedious. I find these games tedious. Darcy loves tank games, by the way. He would love this. Yeah. He loves a good tank game. Um, no Escape, Enduro, and Moon Sweeper are more of my are more of my favorites. It's Dave M. Flash Gordon and the Earth Dies Screaming are a couple of games where you need a manual to know what's going on. Without it, they don't make much sense. So the game's got a bad rap. But if you don't know what's but if you know what's going on, there's some some fun to be had with it. What are you eating? No. Thanks. Down the radar. And a wire hanging out of his mouth. A wire? Yep. 
12, oh. 16 tanks. Oh. Get in there. Oh, I have one more tank left. Um, tip for Sky Skipper. To refuel, you need to pick up one of each animal at a time. If you pick up just one each, then your fuel goes to full. I had a strange experience with this one. Back when it came out, we got through, got it through a mail order offer for free. Okay. <laughs> that one's not going on your favorite list? No. <laughs> it's not a bad game. It's, I do not. It's, I'm not a tank game person. It's a very challenging game. Yeah. I did get my first patch in it though. Mm. Oh, Axiom. Come on. There we go. Rockcast says these Activision guys were so good. I'm glad they left Atari to pursue their goals. Oh yeah, they would have been held back. Mm. Ah! I'll reset. Oh, you haven't died yet. Not yet. So Galaxian. Uh, June 1983, the last one was June as well, uh, made by Mark Ackerman, Tom Calderwood, and Glenn Parker, CX2684. Um, oh, to continue with the Skyskipper story from Dave M. Uh, they got it through mail order. When it arrived, each pay page of the manual was doubled. So it had two Meryl, covers Meryl, and two. Zero page homebrew subscribe or RC70. Thank you. It'll be my 45th sub month anniversary for the FCS 45th anniversary. Nice. He's at 44 months right now. Wow. RC70, thank you wow, so much. That's crazy. 2600 says, yes, a lot of strategy to robot tanks. Yeah. Yeah. Great game, Bizarre Border. Yeah, why why bother putting this border? It's pretty. It's like, okay, they fly off the screen. I guess they wanted to probably put the border so you know where the edge was, rather than them just fly away. But do you need it? I think it would look better without that border. Um, so it had two covers, two pages E, perfect. Two pages of each, all perfectly stapled together. I wish I kept it that way. For some reason, I pried open the staples, carefully slid the pages apart, and created two separate manuals. Of course you did. Yep, you wanted a proper manual. Yeah, we, no one wants a defective <laughs> manual. Not until 30 years later when it's and a collector's go, item. Oh, I should have gone and uh, kept that defective manual. Yeah, of course, you could just have done that yourself 40 years later, too. It would be impossible to know. That's true. Well, yeah. hard to tell. It'd be hard to tell. Right? Captain Classic says, For me, it would have to be between Dolphin, Enduro, Robot Tank, or Moon Sweeper. I'd probably choose Robot Tank since I haven't beat it yet. Mm. Although in the latter levels, the computer is extremely unfair. Yeah, I am very far from getting the top Robot Tank. I've only gotten the first patch. I haven't got the second patch. What's the second patch? 60 tanks. First one's 48. Second one's 60, the third one's 72. I, I... It's hard as hell after 48. It just seems tedious. I, it's <laughs> like, oh, where is it? Shoot it. Where is it? Shoot it. Where is it? Shoot it. It's like, ugh. Just gonna avoid their shots, too. Or shoot their shots. Oh. And there's nighttime, it and then there's matter. fog. No. Not no, for you. Not high up there on my yeah. replayable list. Uh, Captain Classic also says, I can, ap I can also appreciate how good No Escape, Solar Fox, and the official Frogger are. But I just wouldn't normally play these games without a purpose, like getting a high score in the high score club. Is that a pitiful cry? Mew. Meow. Did I take away your wires that you were chewing on? <laughs> He's crying pitifully in the other room. Yeah. I was trying to get um, my Atari Lynx ready for Friday. Still um, struggling, right? Yeah, it's not gonna go. Oh it's no! It's not gonna happen for Friday. It's oh, gonna. Oh no! It's gonna have to wait till after we come back, sadly. Oh, yeah. Oh, show us, guy. This is kind of a. Look at that title screen. Beautiful title screen. That's gorgeous, actually. I just sit on that title screen. Yeah. Very, very flashy. It's kind of a. I know it's it's the precursor to Galaga. Yep. But it feels like the poor man's Galaga to me. <laughs> yeah. I like Galaga a lot more. There's a lot more going on. Um, it's not a bad gets, game. It's very colorful hectic. and really nice. 
Yeah. Um, if you want a really good version of this, check out Bob De Crescenzo's uh, Galaxian mm. um, for the 7800. It's really good. It gets crazy hard. Mm. This is a very good version, too. Mm. Colors are I'm not great. saying it's a bad version, but I prefer Galaga oh, to yeah. Galaxian any yeah. day. So. Oh, me too. Yeah. yeah. How do they get seven enemy sprites on each row? That is a good question. Yeah. A little bit beyond me, but that is... Um, that was quite an accomplishment, actually, back then. Uh, next one is London Blitz. Which is not a straightforward game. But once you know it, it's not too bad. I'll bring up the instructions. Okay. Okay, so um, press a button. Press a button again. Again. There you go. Okay, that's you. Okay. That red dot. Okay, you can move around the maze and you look for white dots. Those are bombs that you have to defuse. Any yet. I'm not moving around the maze. I'm just no, moving you're looking the maze. around the maze. Gotcha. There's one. Okay. okay. So you have to uh, head towards the bomb to defuse it. So you press the button to switch to 3D mode, which looks really good. But which way am I facing? Uh, the arrow shows north. So you want to I go, want to go south. south. So you have to turn and turn. And then press forward to go south. You can switch back to the map anytime. Yeah, getting closer. <sighs> Facing that wall. Um, London Blitz was made by Avalon Hill, uh, made by Jean Bayer, Bill, Rebecca Ann Heinerman, and William O. Shepard, 5002002, June What do I do? Uh, you go north and then and you press the button to defuse the bomb. Okay. Okay. So there are three sliders mm -hmm. and you have to get them in the, the right position. Um, black means it's in the right position, so don't touch the first one. So go down. Red means it's too far to the right, so you have to move it an unknown number of positions. Um, so you move the second one and the third one. Move down. Can't. No. Um, and you move that. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. You're not telling me what to do here. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? I move it. It's yellow. Yeah. What does that mean? Go down to the dots, the three dots. And now press the button. Oh, no, you press left or right on the three dots. That's right. There. Okay. Now it's back. So green means it's too far to the left. Move that to the right. Move the other one to the right. Yeah, that one's right. No. Too far to the left. Or too far to the right, sorry. There, you diffused it. Now go do that one. Ugh. No! You don't get penalized. So, the, I, now what is that green thing? I think that's to defuse all the bombs in the city. Oh my god, why do I have to hit it so many times? 
Yeah, because it's programmed badly. Because <laughs> it's not listening while you're pressing it. It's listening at another time. Done. Nice. Cool. You have three more bombs on the screen. Oh, the... let's see. There's two other types of bombs. Kay. There you go. Well, that kind of shows you. Yeah, kind of the basics of that. Next one is wall ball. Wall I like the 3D, ball. 3D look to that. I like I like stuff that it has like the, the map. The overview map as well. Uh, wall ball by Avalon Hill, made by Duncan Scott, June 1983, 5003002. It looks like they're timed. They have a little. They have a little timer that goes down. Oh yes, before they explode. What am I supposed to do? Oh, take out the wall. It's it's 3D breakout. Oh. Which, no, that's pretty. Oh, amazing. you don't hit a button. You don't hit the button. You just move it. Oh my god. <laughs> Not as this, easy. This would be a good candidate for trackball. Oh my god. I would think. God. Would it be? Yeah, so it's you can move it smoother. It's very hard to judge when it's going to hit you. Like when... Oh, God. I guess you just have to kind of track it till it... But it it's bounces hard to know around. What... It like goes around in, in like a spiral. <laughs> it does. Oh, my goodness. Still streaming. How many left? Uh, we have... Mm, 15? I think. Left. Yeah. You try. <laughs> oh, this is boiling hot. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to tell where it is. Yeah. There's no shadow. I think a shadow would help. Well, not really. Because the shadow would just tell you exactly where it is <gasps> horizontally. It like spirals around and you don't know when it's close to you. No. It gets bigger, but it's not like significantly bigger. Significantly bigger. It really needs more perspective. Or slower ball or Or the trajectory is really hard to judge too. You're just like tracking it on the screen. And the ba the not great. the movement is very chunky. Not great. It's yeah. not great. It it I, I you get what they were trying to do? Yeah. But you just you think you you think it's bounced off sometimes too and it yeah. hasn't really choppy so difficult to judge where it's going and also whether it's bounced off you yeah you don't know you well, can't tell well we don't have it turned off but um i'm sure you can hear it when it does this is a nightmare this concept is good but the hardware limitations make it too hard to play agreed You can hear it bounce off the walls, which helps a little. Yeah, a it's little a bit. It's a really hard game. It's too choppy, I think. That's the problem. The ball should change its color based on how far it is. Yes. Ooh, that would help. That would help a lot. But, I mean, you're still just tracking it. You're just tracking yeah. it based on the plane because you don't know when it's actually going to hit you. So, like, you just do your best to track it. And if it's it bouncing around a lot... Like, it, you're like, oh, it hit, and it bounced off. Yeah. yeah. I think if it was smoother, which it definitely could be, I don't know why it's so choppy. You get, like, a hundred balls, though. <laughs> you do get a hundred balls. You get, like, it's it's going down, I think. 67. You get a lot of balls. You get a lot of balls. Someone, someone obviously programmed this and said, it's we need hard. to give them a hundred balls. <laughs> They're gonna miss a hundred times. They're not, like, like we we can't just give them one ball or three balls. We have to give them a hundred balls. They gave up. <laughs> and even if you hit it, it may. Yeah, not even... the reticle should flash when the ball hits it. That would help. Because so it'd be much. like bang, or it would almost be like it hit. You know, like a bang, like he, like um some some kind of indicator that it hit it. See, this needed so... to go through more uh, play testing. Yes. Need shadow or more perspective in trackball control. Shadow would help a lot. Yeah. 
for sure. Um, I mean, I'm hitting it most of the time now, but it's bloody yeah. hard. Like when it comes straight for you, it's fine. When it starts to bounce around, oh, it's so crazy. You just you're just tracking it. This is a big F. It's like a vision game. Like track the ball with your eyes. <laughs> yes. It's a big F, yeah. Big old F. Yeah. Like the oh. colors are awesome. It's it's the concept it's is awesome. Weirdly challenging, and you you do kind of want to do better at it, but it just it's missing something to make it really function as a game and to make it playable. Yeah. Next one, Solar Fox, an actual awesome game. Yay! Oh, is this a fighting game? Nope. Nope, nope. Like a not a fighting a Here, fighter. Fight. No. Okay. Nope. Nope. Not a fighter. Not a fighter. But not what I was thinking. You collect. Oh. You can read out the info on it. All right, Solar Fox. June first, nineteen eighty-three, from CBS Electronics. Um, oh programmed by Bob Curtis. Come on. We are about a little bit more than halfway through our list now. Yeah, that game could have worked with some fine tuning, a hundred percent. We have about sixteen. Oh. Someone asked, so that's why I'm saying. Ah. Mazeless dot eater. Yeah, yeah. It's a mazeless dot eater. And the um, dots are in a specific pattern. And uh, somebody was making hacks. I can't remember who it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they made a hack for us. Very similar game, yeah. I don't think they spelled ZPH, but they put J-O. Oh, funny. I can't remember who did the hack of it, but they're offering them uh, as binaries. And they would make the first level your initials or whatever you wanted. Gopherman says, very fun game. Haven't played the 2600 version, but I love it on the C64. Yep. Mercy Sammy says, I'd love to see the code for the last game. I could feel the trajectory of the ball, so I think they had a pretty good algorithm for the physics, just not enough resolution to make it smooth. Yep. And that might be the case. Also, hitting the, the reticle. Um, uh, yeah, color when you hit. Uh, yep. And maybe it approaching getting bigger. You know, more? Yeah. Bigger? Yeah, it could be much bigger. Much bigger when it hits. Yeah. Smoother, much bigger. Yeah. Some graphical changes. Or it could be everything mm. twice now. Oh. Dead. Oh, that's it. Yep. So oh, just, just eat, eat the uh, pellets. Eat the pellets. You can press the button to go faster. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Dan says, Wall Ball reminded me of Robo Squash for the Lynx. Oh. Yeah, good to stay away from them when you're near the bottom of town. You don't know when they're gonna fire. You got the hang of it. It's not too bad. He, he moves continuously, so I think that's one of the things. Very much like Pac-Man. Unless you hit a wall. No walls on this except for the outer edges. So, yeah. Constant moving. Ah! So that is one thing you have to consider in this game. I don't spray it. Oh! So close. Black kitty, He's so here for cuddles. Cute. Cuddle, cuddle cat. Ah, ah run! 
one. Hi, little cutie cat. Aww. Well, that was fun. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's a very good game. Uh, next one is, we have 12 seconds, Cake Walk. Hi. Are you here for treats? You're just oh, here for, here for cuddles. Love. Oh. By Comavid, by Irwin Gaines, Cakewalk. Uh, CM008. Very big face. Now, I have played this. I can't remember how to play this. Oh, yes, now I remember. What do you do? Uh, you just be there for the cakes. Oh. Now you can pause the cakes. You, you can, can pause the racks oh. by pressing the button, I believe. So you can pause one, two, three, I can't remember, so yeah. But then they unpause after a little bit. And there are things that you don't want to get too, so you want to avoid some things, but I think they're pretty obvious. I believe this is a fairly rare game. Is it? As well. Not super rare, but fairly rare. Oh, I thought I got it. Uh, similar to Tapper. Very, Very similar to Tapper. Almost, ex yeah, it's like the beer part of Tapper, like the collecting the bottles part of Tapper. And I think we played a Halloween hack of this game. I can't remember if there's like skulls and stuff. Oh, it's so hard to get them all. Sweep, 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 sweep. That's Very pretty cute. cute animation. I'm going to put Solar Fox on my um, checklist. So I think that could be a really, really good game. If I just played a little bit longer. I mean, I have played it before. Mm. Extra man. Excellent. Nice. What is CM008? Yeah, that is the serial number or the cartridge number. Um, because this is Comavid, I guess they went for CM for Comavid. CM. Oh, jeez. Um, just like Parker Brothers uses PB. And uh, Activision, AX, and AZ, and I'm not sure what those stand for. And uh, Atari uses CX. I don't know why they use C. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. It's getting heavier now. I see. It's getting bigger and heavier. Oh, vicious. He's like loving, and then he touches the tummy, and he's like, I'll kill yeah. you. Yeah. I, I'm guessing you don't want the tools or like the, the... Or the baby, I don't think. Oh. Oh, that, that. oh you do want that baby. Or not. I don't know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Got to rescue the baby. I guess it's a gingerbread man. Gingerbread baby. Oh, uh, cake on the floor. Good at this. Poorly run cake factory. Yeah, very. Gingerbread. They're uh, Ginger un inbred. understaffed. Maybe they should put the guy that's sweeping up the cake on one of those lines. And he wouldn't have to sweep oh, up so much cake. Terrible. Yeah. He'd be able to help out. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's 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 uh, six months from retirement. He doesn't do other jobs. No, he was hired to sweep, and that's what he's going to do. It's a pretty do. fun game. That's cute. Can you press reset for me, please? Ah. Did you start this fast? Oh my god, the cakes came out so fast. I don't remember them being that fast. They were fast when they started. They got slower when they started having more. Or we could oh be wrong. God. Cat. Cats are crazy. He Cats is be crazy. crazy. They are crazy.
Yeah, I don't think I've been using the slow down fast enough. Because you enough. can unfreeze it by selecting a different one. Yeah. Gotta freeze and unfreeze. Yep, tactically freezing. Get that coffee. Give Woo! me my extra life. Give it to me. No. All right. No. I just started. <laughs> Play this a little bit more. Aww. Oh, if it took us to wake up in a few hours, well, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, don't want that. Nope. Oh, it's so. Oh my God. It was moving much slower. I didn't realize it. Even the mess is very uh, colorful. Yeah, I like all of it. It makes me want cake, too. I'm not sure on his legs. I'm not convinced of his legs. They're a bit weird. They, his feet are huge. Yeah, he's got, he forgot to take off his clown shoes. Yeah. <gasps> oh, just. Oh, cat is playing his pinball. Yeah. Pinball Took it out of games. this room because it was too noisy. Oh, he was so noisy. But he rediscovered it today. You know, cats have moods. They do have moods. They're like, I'm going to play with the pinball all day. And I haven't played with it in two months. Especially kittens. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a funny cat. Very fickle cats. Da, da, da. Uh, you're going way over time now. Oh, but it's a fun game. I know it's a oh, fun I'm game. Die now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, you freeze. So I don't get the trowel. Ah! Yeah, you should freeze okay. the ones that are further back. That's true, because then they yeah. don't unfreeze at a random time. Next one is Solar Storm. It's a paddle game. The one paddle game we're playing today. They get much, much more far and few between. Where are my pedals? Yeah. There. <laughs> Legs make him look like the white pie man from Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. Hold those, please. No, oh, tears. Uh, so, Solar Storm made by Imagic. June 83 by Wilfredo Alguilar, Michael Becker, and Dennis Koble. Ooh, look at those graphics. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, there's a two-player Oh, game. no, I think I have to navigate gravity. Is it one of these? Oh, I can't stop. see anything. Stop pressing. Okay, there you go. Wow, look at that, look at that stuff what? at the bottom. What? Did he hit me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. The graphics on the bottom are crazy. They look so good. Oh, he shot me. Oh my god. Did they have a fast shot too? Beautiful. Look Very at these. They're nice. gorgeous. Really nice. This is graphics. a game you know well? No, not at all. Oh. I've never played this you just, before. You, you, you were saying you, you, it's a good game, so... Uh, no, did I? I thought you did. No. Oh. I did not. Maybe... The magic makes good games. Oof. Oh. How do you avoid their shots? Just... Uh, I don't know, just not be there. Wait till they shoot and then shoot them, I guess. Whoa! Oh, you're gonna love this game. <laughs> I feel like this is right oh, up your alley. Oh, it's called Solar Storm. By a magic. Now that's a laser. <laughs> yeah. That's a laser. You call that a laser? This is a laser. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he got you. Oh, he's a bad one. Look at the one. screen light up as you shoot your laser. I know. It's awesome. It just it flashes. Slight, slightly Slight lights little up. flash. It's like they're flashing in a gray or something. It's great. Oh, the ship graphics are so damn cool. What is that thing? <laughs> oh, you emerge on the screen. Oh, I gotta get it. Oh, it clears everything on the screen. Let me shoot that little guy. Mm. Interesting particle effect on the bottom, I agree. It's unlike anything I've seen on the 2600 before. This is really cool. 
awesome graphics. The ones that shoot will only shoot once. Get 500 points oh. for a bonus round. Oh. Dave knows this game. 330. Ugh. One ship left. Yeah, the Imagic Gang always did great artwork with the sprites. Yep. 400. We'll make the bonus round. Oh, it's yellow now. That guy, I think, is like a bomb. <gasps> Damn it! Oh, you have to try and get to 500. Oh, it's zero! What? Oh, no, because you... Oh, I played long. You played long on the last one. Keep okay. playing. Keep playing. Do another round. You already get lost to 500. Life. Just lost the life being distracted by the timer. Sorry. So they only shoot once. So you wait for them to shoot. And you shoot them. Oh, my <gasps> God. Yeah. Cheater. He came on the screen and shot me immediately. Points. RC70. Oh, this is Paddle. What's the name of this? It is, to say again, Solar, Solar Storm. Storm. Really good. Oh my goodness. Kamikaze Xylophone. <laughs> Kamikaze Xylophone. Yeah, uh, that's the name of it. Oh my god. RC70 says, I don't have this one. Thought I had all the paddle games. It's a late paddle game. As you yeah. say, there aren't too many. Not in later t times. That is like a oh, bomb, god. I think. Damn. Yeah, it, it does is. seem to kill everything on the screen. Yep. It's very hard to the get. The sprites though. are so colorful and beautiful. That's an Imagic uh, trademark. Well, you're at 500. Oof. This is not the bonus level. No, definitely not. This is... Ah. Oh, <gasps> my God. What do I do? Okay. And the little white dots. And I'm shooting things out. It's very hard. <gasps> oh no, that was it! Zero. <laughs> Zero. A big goose egg on the bonus level. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Look at the bottom, it is a solar storm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so scared of this. Ah, Dave says the bars on the side indicate the temperature of the planet. The more things land, the higher the temp gets. Oh, okay, well, it's getting wow. pretty hot. Oh my god. Oh, the solar. So if too many get through, you also lose, I take it. Yeah. Oh, it, it went back down a little. The it more you flashing. shoot, the more it goes down. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Go oh, I started over. It's, oh. um... It is couch compliant. It just magically starts over. Really, really good shooter. Uh, I'm going to put a check mark beside that one. Especially for a paddle game, too. Uh... And the time is all crazy because we I played too long in the last one. Next one is called Star Strike by M Network. Ooh, nice font for the score too. Yes. Everything about that really good. Tight controls. Um, you too couch compliant. A little too couch compliant. Needed a bit of a pause. Um, so, Star Strike is by my M Network, uh, MT4313, Dave Ackers, mm -hmm. Patricia Lewis, and Du Long. So, oh, this looks like Intellivision. I believe this is an Intellivision port, actually. There's no shooting forward? Oh, there is. There we go. Doesn't it look like an Intellivision game? For some reason. I don't know what makes it look like an Intellivision game, it just does. So this is a, a kind of a third-person perspective game, like the um, Zaxxon was. Things are getting bigger and smaller. Nice earth in the background. And the stars. I think they just flicker. Yeah, they just randomly flicker. Why is it still only eight way with a paddle input? Oh, on on the on the bonus on? level. What is going on? Why am I over here? How did you get there? I don't know. What is going on? Weird. Okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> did you all of a sudden appear over there? Did you steer? I, over there? I wasn't pushing to the side. See, I'm I'm gliding oh, over. There's forces, invisible forces you have to fight. Here there's, uh... I don't know how to get this guy. I assume I have to... Dog it, maybe. Yeah. You can go like this. Oh, you press down and put the but button it's, to the it's, bomb? 
He seems to be too Oh, high. you know what? You have to go on that, probably. As oh, it you comes. Think? Oh, dead. Oh, the earth moves suddenly. You're supposed to bomb those grates. Yeah, yeah that's that kind of makes sense. just figured out. <laughs> oh, the earth is going to be destroyed. You killed the earth! Oh, no! That's where I keep all my stuff. Oh, no! That's where all your video games are. <laughs> oh, hot chair stick. <laughs> I'd like to warm it up for you. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye, Alderaan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the great noise? No. Oh. Mm. oh, I died in the process. I mean, I crashed into the ground. Oh. And maybe we're supposed to destroy the planet. <laughs> This is 100% not the Death Star Trench, by the way. It has nothing to do with nothing it. Nothing to do with shooting grates, nothing whatsoever. And a big round thing in the sky exploding yeah. after you party do it. Time for party time for cats. 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 Oh, it's party time! <laughs> cats, cats, cats. Oh, that was a short game. Uh, you want to get out the party time? Yeah. For one kitten? Cats, 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 cats. <laughs> It's for you. I put that in for you. How do you destroy this blue thing? Yep, here he is. All right, are you going to both try? Are you going to try some catnip? Hmm? Says no, drugs are bad. Some for you. You get one life in this game? Oh, I switched to cats. Kitty cats, uppers. Cats. cats, cats, cats. Oh, did I put them too far over? Yeah, you can't even see it. It's way under there. Oh, did you put it right on the ground? I did. Oh, what a mess. Come here. You go there. There you go. No. Kittens. Ground. Oh, I just need a dust buster. It's all fine. I don't think this game's very good. Come here. No. 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 He's like, no, I don't like the smell of that. No. <laughs> well, we're all dead. I don't know how you get that guy. I don't know. I've sh I've he like, just kind of floats by. I'm over top of him. Are you going to lick it or are you just going to rub Oh, he's just going to rub it all over his body. I shoot it. That's how catnip I, works, by the way. I shoot it and I crash into the ground instantly. Yeah, I know. And you die. Yeah. I don't understand. So the black cat does not partake in the catnip at all. Not remotely interested in it, but you can see our cute little gray cat here. Oh, I shot him. He loves it. You have to go up really high. Roly poly time for Atari. Sprite is a smart kitty. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do drugs. He's like, no. Do you see how crazy Atari gets? I'm not touching that stuff. <laughs> gets all wacky. Catnip is absorbed through the ears, you know. <laughs> Some. No. Don't push drugs on the kitty. I'm not going to push the drugs. They're, they don't okay. respond to it, really. I've heard when they're really young. They don't care. Yeah. Next one, Tutankham. Tutankham. You have it, but we're not putting it in. No, it's wrapped up. It's fancy. I do have it, Sparkle Brothers. Cat. Watch the cat roll around on the small small screen. Small screen. So thank you to 2600 Yay. for Atari is enjoying his catnip. Yeah. Tutankham. Which is very, very different. Well, pretty different from the original. Can you move? Can you press a button? Can you start? Nope. Collect the things. Avoid the bad guys. Yeah. Shoot the bad guys. Uh, or avoid the bad guys. don't seem to be able to shoot. Oh, oh my done. god, so you can't shoot down? Nope. Run to the side. Go through those door things. No. Nope. Oh, don't get oh. that. Go through those little things on the side. Oh, okay. And dead. Uh, I've never played this game before. Oh, it's too hot. Why is this closed? Oh my god! Come on! This is terrible. They move fast, only shoot sideways. Yeah. Now you've got the gun you can shoot. Ah, no, went you... up too early. <sighs> went up too early. You have to you have to wait to kill them. I don't like this game. Yeah, Reset, right. please. <laughs> Reset, please. Thanks for the show. Sleep time, take care. Yeah, okay. 
based on the arcade version. I've never played this game. It looks fun. I think you just need to get used to the. Um, oh my God! He's yeah, so he, fast. he. You have to. You have to get there fast enough and shoot him. Then you have to wait for that guy to come, obviously. Or because if you go either. up and down, you can't shoot. Nope. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's a crazy, terrible. Game. It is. They're spawning points, I guess. It's a crazy game. Pretty cool, but pretty crazy. Yeah, it's. They move really fast, like absurdly fast. <gasps> wow. Oh, you gotta stay away from that spawn point. That's the thing. Thank you for joining, Rendered Ghost. Yeah. I could read it. At least I, we know that now. At least you know where the spawning points are. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you weird at. Oh, weird I looking knew it. Scorpion. I knew it as soon as I even touched it. Map! Map. Come on. Oh, I don't have a gun. That's wonderful. I'm just gonna die. Like, what do you do? Look at this, there's three of them. I have no gun. I love this game. Atari 2600 dude says, get used, you get used to the controls. Like, what was I supposed to do? I'm supposed to, like, boot it down to the next... Hmm. Oh, my God. I, I gotta get that gun. Don't have time. Ah! <laughs> How do you start off? You have to go so fast to begin the game. I don't think that's a, a clever plan for, like, beginners. Like, oh, yeah, you die instantly if you don't immediately run for the gun as quickly Atari as possible. Atari 2600 dude says you have the gun. Do you? Not at the beginning. You have no gun. No, but on level two? On level two. No, but it, it looked like you didn't have a gun, and then you oh, died. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't have a gun, despite what he thinks. That's a key, not a gun. Oh, you always have the gun? No. No, You what? have no gun when you first start. Okay, I'm gonna reset. I have no... Oh, I... What? Oh, I do have a gun. What the hell? Oh, so that's a key. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Well, that helps. Yeah. So this. It thing looks in my like hand... a gun, though. That's ridiculous. The thing in my hand is a key. Why am I holding a key yeah. out the whole time? Shouldn't you be holding a gun? Yeah. Are you trying to scare them away with your key? Uh... I shot him. Oh, this game. This is a crazy game. When I swear that I don't have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and you somehow use the smart bomb. There's a smart bomb? I did. I don't know how you do that. You hold Pushing it. Pushing down, maybe? Oh, press press the button first. Up then, and then button. Then direction. Up and button. Yeah. Kills everything on the screen. That that would be good for, like... Oh, I'm, I ran out. There you go. Okay. Uh, it's, it's challenging. I can see how it would be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Next one's Bank Heist. From July 1983 by 20th Century Fox by Bill Aspromonte, Aspromont also known as Bonnie and Clyde, Cops and Robbers, Hold Up, Roaring Twenties. Are you playing? Are you playing? Yeah. Okay. It's Pac-Man with cars. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to get you. Uh, I think there's gas that you have to get. Uh, can you shoot them? There, oh, it's a different screen. Oh, you have to go to different screens. Unlike Pac-Man, where it loops around the same screen, I think this goes to uh, the second screen. Oh, I just killed myself. Oh my god. <laughs> so you have to go out the side. Out the right-hand side. Oh, don't go backwards! Oh my goodness. Oh, it's very short-lived. I don't understand. Do I have to kill them all? Oh, more hats. Is that gas? This says yeah. flicker management. Oh, yes it does. <gasps> oh no! It was not supposed to Appear manifest above, <laughs> above me. Very similar to... Um, uh, oh, didn't turn crash. back. Interesting. Blow them up and keep hitting more banks on the same screen to get fuel. To 
get those close are, those enough are banks to that you're uh, getting. Okay. Let me get a little bit of fuel for yeah. going to the bank and money. Get any more gas? You do a little. My gas went down. I guess it's like a timer, basically. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, couch complaint. Yay. Oh, see that little level thing goes up. Yeah, the, the gauge rises. So I'm assuming but your gauge has your to get, gas. your gas keeps going down. Yeah. So it is the same screen. They should have the um, cost of gas debiting from the amount you get from the banks. That's right. We're robbing the banks. At one point, gas now was is not it really 2020 concerned. prices or is it 1983 prices? <laughs> it's 83 prices. Grand Theft Atari, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty close. Yeah. Get the bank. GTA 2600 style. Yeah, I like that. That's not too bad. They have to be fairly close to you for you to bomb them, because the bomb goes very off close. You gotta lure very them. quickly. You have to be careful where that bomb gets dropped, too. Very nice. Pretty destructive. It is. These, these people uh, aren't, aren't fans of the police. So it's at the top already. Nice. Ooh, it like, like it, it explodes itself. Like, it's not when they run over it. So you've hit the maximum there. Yeah. Maybe you just need one more? Maybe. Nope. Stays. What do I have to do now? I've driven off the screen. I've blown them up. Driving off the screen. Got lots of banks. I'm, I'm gonna die? Yeah, so... there must be a way to finish it. Do you go to the gas tank, maybe? Do you go somewhere? Switch to the next screen. How do you switch to the next screen? I did. Like, look, I just... Oh, oh. Oh, you go... To the right? I thought I did that, oh, but I guess here. not. Okay, thank you. Pac-Man will be much improved by six of dynamite. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yep. Hey, come back here. Take my dynamite. What? It, where are you going? away from you? Yeah, they, like, were actively running away from me. A lot of dynamite. Oh, yeah. What? You went right... Oh, oh you ran into myself. it. Oh, no. It's okay. It's another twist on Pac-Man mm -hmm. yet again. Uh, next one is Porkies. There's... I do like games where you get money. <laughs> Money. Not the best game, but not the bad. Not a bad game. Yeah, yeah, a playable and a fairly fun game to play. It's not hard to play, which is nice. It's not games that you just pick up and you you kind of inherently know how to play or fun to play. It's not gonna work. No. Nope. Porky's as in the movie. Yes. Correct. No, we're gonna have to do it off of the army card. But I do have it. Is there anything here that needs to be blurred? Uh, there is a shower thing, uh, so... But it's tiny? I don't know this game at all. Does that look right? That looks crazy. That does not look correct. It's like they're not turning off the sprite before turning back on again. Nice. I'm not sure I ever saw Porky's the movie. Neither did I. I just know generally. Is this? No, this is not correct. No? The, the sprites are crazy. Try it again. Nope. What the hell? Neither did I. I just know it wasn't appropriate. Same. I did see Revenge of the Nerds on TV, though. <laughs> In that same er genre of uh, comedy. No, it's still not right. Hmm, something is off. Bad ROM. 
They really don't want you to see the naughty bits, James. Yeah. Nope. What is happening? Is it the console or the harmony messing up? Weird bank switching. Mmm. Mmm. Revenge of the Nerds wasn't crazy bad for the 80s. Yeah, I just remember little bits from that anyway. Yeah, like it's showing the screens, but it's not displaying your character correctly. Cor correctly. Oh no! That's really weird. Well, we might have to revisit this one at some uh, for future yeah. time to see if we can uh, get it running properly. Let's try the original card again. Mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of a platformer, multi-screen. Oh, worked. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Am I crossing? Am I am I jumping? E what? Yeah, so you have to pull vault your way across that. Um Don't fall in it. Press maybe try and launch yourself up. There you go. Click that dot. Then I think you have to climb up that on that side or on the other side. Oh, up, down, no, nothing. Should dedicate an expo to figure out why that's broken. Oh, oh, you have to place them up top and build your way out of it. Okay, I think you have to do it on the other side now. Press button. There you go. Oh, little kitten, why are you so crying? This game is rough. Um, so this was put out by 20th Century Fox, uh, B. Winston Hendrickson, Randall Hyde, Mark uh, V. Rhodes, John Simons, July 1983. Oh, the nudity! <laughs> it's monochrome what? nudity! What is going on? Did you, keep, did you fall down? Oh my god. Somewhere? No! What is going on? I did fall down. You have to pull, pull vault to the left side because you don't want to go to the right side. Climb back up. You must have fallen in a pit or something. I did. I fell in that pit, but I don't know how to go up or down. Oh my god! What is going on? No, I didn't want to go there. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Judas terrible. Meow. This is the real cart. How did I get it to work? I just plugged it in. I don't know. They were. It wasn't doing so anything. What am I so supposed to, get to do? Rope, How do maybe? I go up and down? Oh, maybe you have to go up that side. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, somebody's after you. But I, I don't you. know how to go up. Look like you're climbing up the side of it, just like the side of those. Not safe for work. <laughs> Are you at work? <laughs> <laughs> Turn down the sound. How, how do you do this? What one? is going up sums up this game very funny. <laughs> how do you... you jump it. You push as you hit the edge of it. You run and push. You run across and push. The button? Yeah. There you oh, go. And then you have to hit it at the top point to jump. See? It's no. Except no. you don't want to go on that side. Oh, this game you is have to terrible. Commit. Yeah. score of zero there you go and up and then what do you do like you it, go to the oh, side the of them side. just like on the last oh screen oh my god oh oh i can't pick it up but I can you have push to knock it. it down maybe oh yeah knock it down there and now oh. you have to get out oh no yeah it had an arrow it was better when it was glitching <laughs> oh this is pretty awful i mean the yeah, screens it's... are interesting, but the gameplay is awful. So I have to knock that rope down. Let's go this way. And then... Knock it down. <gasps> <gasps> nope, oh, we have to do it all over oh, again. No. I really want to see the next screen. 
You don't seem to have lives, though. No, it's just... Just constantly trying. You just get set back. Well, you have to be so precise with this. Ugh. Yep. Oh, one of those games where you fight the controls. The whole time. Yep. A lot of effort for a peeping Tom, yeah. Why would they even try? You have to run into it, yeah. Oh, I press a well, now, now you? that you told me it's the edges, it like makes a hell of a lot more sense now. Okay, don't fall in. Push it in. And then, whatever. <gasps> oh, God, James! <laughs> Constant score of zero, exactly. <laughs> We're almost done. This is definitely an F. <laughs> if ever there was an F. Because of the controls. Wow, the controls are awful. You're fighting them, you have to be so precise with everything. There you go. Okay, yeah. I'm not jumping over that. I'm just climbing up here. And then you jump safe. over. Okay. Then we're back to this. But I don't understand what you're supposed to do here. Cross. You cross? That's it? <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> right back to zero. Boo! Wow. Next one, we all know and love. It's Crackbox. Wow. Oh yeah. You should play this game. You like this game. It's hard. It is hard. Hard, 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 hard. Game. Come on, act of black. Don't fight me. Mow. Okay, you play. Me? First. Oh. Mirror. Crackpots, July 1983 by Activision by Dan Kitchen. Friend of the show. AX029. I love these games. First of all, you're like, yeah, that wasn't That's so bad. Easy, yeah. Then it gets terrible. I have not got my patch on this. I've come, and come close, but it just gets insane. Insane. Who has their patch on this game? It's so hard. Gopherman was playing this game while waiting for the stream to start. Definitely a fave. Bad controls are an Atari staple. The sad thing is it doesn't need to have bad controls. There's games that have such perfect tight controls. Like, like this one is very good controls. It's hard as hell, but... It's responsive. Oh, that's not real. That's not real. We got hooked on trying to finish Porky's, but it's it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. I find this game just like super terrifying and creepy too. <laughs> it's creepy. It's hard. <gasps> It's overall hard, 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 hard. Um, so, Crackpots, you need 75,000 points. Now, what did I get on Crackpots? Oh, I didn't even come close. I tried it twice. Second time, I got 56,000. Oh, that was terrible. <gasps> Terrible. First time I got 50,000, second time I got 56 out of 75,000. It is hard. No patch, no patch, no patch. I remember seeing this game in a store as a kid, Dave says. I told my best friend about it and he didn't believe me. I had to call Activision headquarters to prove that crackpots existed. Oh, so funny. Let's hear some more stories from the forums. Nathan Strum. Atari was starting to regularly knock it out of the park with games like Galaxian and Jung Jungle Hunt. Real sports tennis was also impressive, but I still prefer Activision tennis for some reason. Gameplay over graphics. Very, very similar, I found, but Activision tennis is just more arcadey. Uh, this video, this must have been the year Columbia Video Game Club, since I'm seeing some of the games I bought through that. Polaris, Solar Fox, and other. Solar Fox is a really excellent game, one of CBS's best efforts. I have no idea how I found out about that club, though. 
remember seeing ads for a lot of these games in magazines and never seeing them in any stores. Avalon Hill and Comavid in particular. Though I did find a couple of bargain bin Comavid games after the crash. I started losing interest in Activision stuff around this time. Keystone Capers was too repetitive, even for Activision. Dolphin, Oink, and Plaque Attack seemed more aimed at kids. But Robot Tank was pretty cool, especially with the additions of day-night changing weather. For some reason, though, I never bought it. Probably didn't have the money. Some games were upwards of $40 at the time. Enduro was also very good, but I don't think I bought my coffin until much later, since it came in a smaller box, I think, with leftover unsold stock from Canada. <laughs> Probably. Uh, other notables are Flash Gordon. Yes, I'm going to say it. Strawberry Shortcake musical matchups. In terms of graphics, playability, it's like... Man. Um, nope, I didn't buy it. But even then, I was impressed with how great the characters looked. Yeah, still they do the, look fantastic. Still one of the best-looking use of graphics on the 2600. 100%. Still weird to me that Avalon Hill made 2600 games. What what do they make normally? Dolls? Who's Avalon Hill? Books? Uh, probably books. They probably started as books. Um, I worked at Toys R Us during the Christmas rush in 83 in the video game booth where you picked up your purchases. It was absolute mayhem. Oh, God. But the most popular game by far was Qbert for the 2600. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I recalled that, other than maybe because I wasn't Cause that enamored. Tanya hates it. Because <laughs> I wasn't that enamored with the 2600 port. Couldn't figure out its popularity. We had display boxes for two Revenge of the Jedi games that were in our storeroom. Those are expensive now. Revenge of the Jedi? Yeah. They're cool. Not Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Jedi. The early prints of the video game wow. before they changed the name. The boxes go for quite a bit. Oh, God. It's getting too fast. Uh, I tucked them out of the way, intending to try to figure out a way to take them home. <laughs> I figured I'd offer to buy them or just say, hey, these games aren't coming out because the name's wrong. Should I trash them? But I was laid off after the holidays and wasn't able to get back to them. I don't know if anyone ever found them or knew what they were. This, this store was eventually bulldozed. Stinkers from this group include Zaxxon and Miner 2049er, which is one of the worst 2600 games, period about worst but it's bad it has so much badness it oozed over into a sequel it may not have been so disappointing if the hype around minor 2049er hadn't been overblown no escape was visually impressive and had cool sound effects hallmarks of a magic's better games but moon sweeper eclipsed it featuring great gameplay and amazing graphics where you're flying down and across planet surfaces in perspective that was incredible for its day and still looks great would be my pick of this group I can't believe I'm still playing this game. Playing it to the timeline. And done. Okay. That was probably one of my better scores. Yeah? Yeah. It's not going well. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Next we can move on. Jungle Hunt by Atari. Oh, my God. It's tight. Ugh. Do 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 deep. Oh, this joystick's so hot. I played this so much in my Commodore 64. Yes? Kittens? What's wrong? What's up? What's up, kittens? How was your day? And it's got multiple screens. Nice. Four screens. I'm going to avoid the alligators because I think I'm going to die if I try and stab them. Do so you have to stab them? Have to stab them from below? Oh, really? I'll try it once. Oh, not that guy. And you have air, so you have to go up to the top. Yeah. And seaweed at the bottom, scrolling seaweed. The waves and the seaweed are pretty good. Oh, that guy's moving. Seems relatively simple game. Uh, yeah. Like, as the far vines. as the, the graphics. Oh, no, the graphics are pretty good. Yeah. Um, the waves, pretty good. The, the, the kind of the moving at a different speed. The alligators are cute. Mm -hmm. I'll get that guy. Nope. I'll get this guy. Get him when his mouth's not open. Oh. I don't know if you have to kill a certain number of alligators, but I don't think so. I think you just have to swim for a while. Mm. Then it's the bouncing rocks level. I I've vaguely remember playing this game. Ah. Kids? On the C64? Listen to him cry. Listen to oh, this guy. Oh, the soundtrack of our lives. Yeah? 
What's up? Don't think this has an incline though, because that's too hard. So you can duck or jump. So he has pants in the last screen when he's swimming, but yeah. no pants when he's jumping over boulders. He's got short, short pants. Yeah. He's got short shorts. That's a weird. Oh. That's that, that's a weird choice. That's a weird choice. I would think you would choice. want, you know, if with rocks falling, you would want to be wearing pants. Yeah, right down to your shoes. I know. It looks like he's, oh, he's running in bare feet, too. This is not too bad. It's got some parallax at the top. Oh, nope. my God, my head. Smushy smush. Oh. Uh. <laughs> RC70 says, not to mention the ticks. <laughs> Oh, did I make it I somehow think you died. to the no. last level? I think you're... No. no, I did make it somehow. So on the C64, there's two of those oh, guys. Let's try out. <laughs> yeah. Two of those guys in a cauldron and a woman. This is actually quite hard. Do you have to kill him? No, you have to jump over him. Over him? Yeah. <gasps> smush, smush. Oh, nope. And back to the beginning. And demos of each level. Your turn. Me? Oh, jeez. Chafing. Pants yeah. were wet. He doesn't have pants there. Only one swimming? Yeah, that's very bizarre. He saves his pants for the swimming. <laughs> Which is not a smart move. It's because he's horizontal when he's swimming, so he has to... Um, I can tell they used one player character for one of the vines and the missile for the other. Why didn't they use the ball for the vine? The ball's not doing anything. Weird. Don't get eaten by the alligators. Nope. Don't run out of air. Yeah, you can just avoid the alligators. What is this Good guy going. doing? He's going crazy. Oh, ah! he should have swum under him. Tons of room under him. Yeah, I guess so. No. Swim above that no. guy. No. He's not even come close to you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's using... Uh, they're using two um, player characters for him and flickering the alligators when you're on the same level. They could have flickered the, the, the vines if they're going to go for flicker anyway. <clears throat> Ball shares playfield color, but there was no playfield where he was uh, swinging. It was just background color. So there's no reason they couldn't use the uh, uh, change the playfield color when it got to the vine and use the ball. There you go. Okay. I mean, very, very cool because it's got four it's nice. levels. Yeah, you've got all those levels in there. Uh, next one is Kangaroo, which I'm terrible at. Just terrible. But we'll give it a try. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a platformer. I'll put first. Mm -hmm. The uh, animation is cool. Does he have to get cool. his joey at the top? He does. Uh -oh, little what's monkeys. This awful thing at the side. Monkeys that throw apples at you. <gasps> I only know they're apples because I've seen the arcade game. <laughs> what is going on? That thing shoots down, so you don't want to be moving with it. Okay. Now I have to either punch the monkey or wait for him to throw it. And I can duck and punch this monkey. And you can ring, uh, ring a bell and it'll make fruit everywhere. Mm. Oh, make fruit everywhere. Get it this time. Punch that monkey. Punch that monkey. Bad monkey. <gasps> nope. Oof. What are people saying? Kangaroo is only bad because up is jump. Mm. Yeah. The timer sound is very close to the draconian extra life sound. Is that what it's from? Mm. Maybe. The controls are kind of annoying, but I still love this game. There's something very... Um, Charming about it. Level two is hard, I find. We use free music because it doesn't cost a thing. Oh, 
Graphics are rough though. <laughs> um, they could be worse. The kangaroo's not bad. No, the kangaroo's pretty cute, and the joey at the top. The monkeys pretty cute. are good. Um, and you know they got to use playfield for the for the platforms. They could have been thinner, maybe. Ah, I walked off the edge. The edge? Jeez. Well, the edge of the ledge there. Level two is hard because it's super easy to miss, fall off the platforms. As I just did. As James demonstrated. Yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate how easy yeah. it is to fall <laughs> off the platforms. Because you, you have to jump, like, just... Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh monkeys! It. No! The monkeys look slightly as though they're like octopi. I don't, I just. <laughs> Too many arms and tails. Very and weird. Very weird. Like when they're, when they're on the ground, octopi. they look like an octopus that's trying to be a monkey. <laughs> oh, no! no. <laughs> I don't know why I find this game so hard. It should be easy. It's, it's a platformer. Not. It's got some weird play. Does lots of things going on. I think it's a mashup of Donkey Kong and Popeye. Says a zero. Yes, it is. It's got the punching from Popeye. Sea monkeys, obviously. Sea monkeys. Nice. Punch that monkey. I remember this in the arcade and just dying in the arcade over and over. Yeah. When I played this game. On the ferry. On the ferry. That's where I played most of my games. That is so funny. Play Bosconi they on still the have arcades on the ferry. We just took a ferry from Victoria. I can kill him and he can kill me. Yeah, they're all... Not they're, all of them have them, but the no. ferry from Victoria has them. I mean, they're more modern games, but it's still kind of neat that they still have an arcade on the ferry. It's sad when, they, when the old games disappeared. Yeah. They had Marvel Madness on there for such a long time. Yeah. Well past its uh, expiry date. We should oh, keep God. a couple of old games on there. That would be nice. Oh, oh jump! Die. No, no I, I wasn't going to be able to jump high enough. Uh. Is it done? It's pretty much done. Yep. Will I ever see level three? I don't think I will. It just gets too hectic at the top. Oh, my God. Okay, here you go. I don't particularly want to play. It looks no, awful. No, it's over. Oh, I just got hit. Uh, next game is Death Trap by Avalon Hill. Never played this game. Don't know what it's about. Let's check oh, it out. Oh, he, sh he shot me with the apple. <laughs> Death Trap, July 1983 by Je Gene Bauer and Jim Jacob, 5001002. So, ship. There's a hole. There's a meteor going through the words death trap. It's nice, nice. Okay, press the button. Oh, X is zero. Oh, some sort of level you picked. Wait, what's happening? Some flashes. Oh my god. There's some things that are going after you. Uh, I think you gotta shoot those guys and avoid them. Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely have to shoot those guys. Oh my god. Oh, he hit the thing that's going slowly past. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. You must pick the, um... Just missing it. Oh. Just missing it. I just, I can't, you can't stop. You cannot stop moving. Because of that oh. thing? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Got it. No. There's two shields it has now. Oh, God. Got it. Oh. <laughs> the flicker's slowing my brain down somehow. Mm. Yeah, the spiral effect is very good. Oh, smashy. Like a, oh, is that hit by the. So the more times you hit them, 
the more shields they put up to block you. So is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, for sure, 100%. You sure? Yeah. Because I don't seem, nothing seems to be happening here. Am I nope. getting score? Uh, I haven't been watching the score, but I will watch the score. You are getting score. The only thing you're doing is shooting, so. Yep, you got points. Nice. Oh, you destruction. Got me. Death Interesting. trap. Uh, pick another level. This game is good. Can't remember how to play it, though. Uh, let's pick the O. No? Slide over. Oh, interesting. Okay. Into the mm -hmm. death trap. So you shoot that. And you shoot that. And you shoot that. I feel like easier. you have easy level. I definitely have easy level. The, the shields are not as big on this one. Not to mention that thing oh. only gets released like once in a blue oh, moon. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not it, not constantly like in your. This Interesting. Might be a better demonstration of the game. There's not a lot happening. You are getting score. Oh. Like you just shoot you... that and. It's going up. More going shields. Up. What's going up? The the score is just continually going up. Oh, it is. Just by me living, it's going up. I got a lot of lives too. Oh, hit the shield. The timing's so hard. Maybe I should get closer. Oh my god, not that no. close. <laughs> it is a shield. Oh, you're dead now. What? Where are all those, <laughs> where are all those lives? Yep. I'll pick. Uh, what did you pick? Yeah, pick? I picked the solid dot. Okay, I'll go X this time. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Oh my god. So apparently the lives are for when you get hit by that thing. If you hit the shield, you're just dead. Dead, dead, dead. You have zero lives. Oh, whoa, what, what? We just have to get past it. So once you get past it, it's fine. So you go up. But if you keep going to the left or right, it goes with you. Like, watch this. Oh, mm. oh missed. So. Kind of a weird game. Yeah. Mixed mm. feelings. It's, yeah, not the, it's not the most impressive game. It's visually very good. It's visually, there's a lot going on, but... Maybe excessive amounts of things going on. Yeah. Doesn't match the action of the game. It's not much... Yeah. Meh. 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 Not terrible. Yep. Lots uh, of interesting things. Next one is Blueprint. Which I have a cartridge for. Uh, I don't know what this game is about, so you fumble around for a bit and I'll look it up. Made by CBS Electronics by Tom Di Domenico, July 1983. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> what is this called? Blueprint. The object of the game is to accumulate points by finding parts of your contraption hidden within each neighborhood and successfully placing them in their proper positions on the blueprint for the contraption. So there must I be a blueprint at the bottom, I guess? Oh. Oh yes, there it is. It's like a robot. So you have to... I have to throw that in the pit, maybe? Yep. There you go. You have to look in the houses for parts to your robot. going on at the top of the screen. It's like a bulbous walking fish uh, oh, chasing a woman with toilet paper on her head. That would be our ponytail, but sure. <laughs> That's a big head of hair, then. I'm just getting things to throw in the pit. I don't understand. <laughs> top screen bad guy looks like a berserk robot in HD No, we need to figure out how to play this game because... Oops. 
You can see which houses when you start. Uh, at the, as the game begins, watch carefully. You'll see each of the three components of your contraption travel to one of the ten houses. Did you oh, see them? Oh, no, no, you have to reset it, I think. Okay, watch the watch. Oh, he's going to scatter them. That one, that one, that one. Which okay. one was straight the first up. one? I got the straight up one. Uh, the one was to, on the left, the second house up. Do. Let's see. Does it have to be in order? As you search, the bread button acts as your speed control. It's weird because you found the part. You got a place in an order. Okay. What was oh. the first one? Was uh, it here? Nope, nope. It was uh, around the corner. The second house in the left. Yeah. There it is. Oh, we have third in the pit, maybe. I don't know. I thought I tried to do that. Do I have to get caught? Do you have to put it back? Or do you put it back in the house? Oh, yeah, okay. There's the first that's part. That's not, that's not okay. the part I need. I think it was the top in the middle. And dead. Oh my god, it's a tiny. Okay, well, now we know. Try okay. it one more time. Here we go, watch that fish. Walking fish, distribute the parts. Right-hand side too. There's openings. Oh, there are. Hooray! Uh, was it up the f the top? I've already forgotten. Up the middle. I believe so. Oh my god. And then up the middle at the top. And then the top middle. Yeah. really fast. Someone just said that in the chat. Oof. Why would you ever want to walk slow? Yeah, I totally forgot where the second piece was. I saw the first piece. Middle. Was it the middle? That one? Yep, there it is. Oh. Damn. 16 more seconds. You can do it. <laughs> do it speedy. Okay, very quick. Yep. And then the house to the left of that. Yeah, if that guy can get out of the way. And then the house below that. On the outside, right? Yep. What? Okay, I guess it was the one one. below that one. Yeah. Who's this one? I mean, it's not. Yay! Go to the start. Go to the start. It went green. Yay! Gun power password. Yay! Um, doesn't look like a terrible game. I guess it gets. Oh, you're shooting him. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot that fish. Oh, <laughs> so slow. Oh it's catching up. Oh, what? It hit! Next one is Stronghold. We ran out of time. Yep. This one looks pornographic. <laughs> so dumb, says RC70. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. great. I could see something happening there, but it's... Mm. Stronghold. Strong. By Comavid. Made by Joseph Beal. CM009, July 1983. Mm. That's something. Okay, press the button. Move. No. Oh, you're a balloon. You're shooting. Shoot the things. It's a space shooter. Graphics are good. You have lives yeah. and you have points and you have enemies. I'm not doing a very good job. You look like a balloon with a gun. 
What is going on? Wow, that was cool. Oh, nice. Graphics at the bottom. Like Stop you, pulling my shot. You can recall the shots. And now you're going through... Well, those are distractions. Oh, they just return immediately Terrible. as soon as you shoot them. Concentrate on the... Oh! Whoa. They can shoot you. Visually oh. impressive. Damn. Oh. So you kind of have to time your shot and then get out of the way. Oh, oh so close! Twin stick hack would be slick. Yes. yes! That would be. This would work yeah. really well. You'd have to change it quite a bit. The directions are weird. You can't shoot to the left or right. You can only shoot up, down, every direction except left and right. Yeah, and diagonal. diagonal up, down, and do. diagonal, but not left and right, which which is interesting. Yeah, that's so awesome looking. <laughs> oh, smart. And that's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it. And that's how you do it. As soon as I saw you could get right next to it and you had rapid fire, death. Death, death to the boss. Oh, quit your crying. Oh, oh sweetie, is it 11 cat. yet? Not even 11. It's not even dinner. Close. You'll be fed soon. If I can do it again. Oh, oh no, nope. defenses are, are up. Like... <gasps> he no. shoots really fast, too. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot like when they're not around. Oh, my diagonally God. almost, yeah. Oh, yes, that's right, yeah. There's too many things. annoying things in the way. You got really lucky. Ah, uh, it's the diagonal. It. It's the diagonal. They're really cool. They look kind of jellyfishy, like mm -hmm. very nice, very nice sprites. Bright and colorful um, ship too. Yeah, graphics are great. It's a decent shooter. It's got some interesting gameplay elements, especially in the boss level. A little different. The controls a little different. Yeah. It's definitely challenging. I think that guy sits there to prevent close-up spamming. I think yes. you're right. Someone realized, oh, you can defeat this guy really easily if you <laughs> just yeah. sit there and shoot him straight down. Something oh, oh, you cannot sit still. Dude. Oh my god. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Pretty good shooter. No bonus points. <laughs> <laughs> no bonus points. Dead already. It it's challenging. The fact that you I mean you don't really need to shoot sideways, so I can oh, see why God. they got rid of it. No, but you have to dodge. Yeah. It, it's not about getting rid of it, it's about you can't shoot sideways, so you can't dodge them. You can't shoot them to prevent them from running into you. So you really do have to no, boo. Can't do that. To do I got it. lucky. No. I got lucky. <laughs> Look how close! It should still hit him, though. <laughs> In my fair opinion. It's okay. It's over, so... <laughs> it's over. It's over. Uh, next one is Moon Sweeper. Nice. Not Must Moon Patrol. Be moon Sweeper. Close to the end there. Yeah, a couple more. Three oh, more after Oh, I this. see what's after this. <laughs> moon Sweeper. Moon Sweeper by Imagic. Nice. By Bob Smith. Oh my god, what am Whoa. I doing? Oh, you're down on the planet. Oh, I think you're supposed to get those guys. They look like they're helpless. Get them! Which guys? The guys yelling the one I just, the yeah. one, The one I just killed. <laughs> yep. My god. Oh, so you're, oh landing, my god. so you're landing on planets. This is like the solar system. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. There you go. There you you go. run into the planet. There you go, you just collected one of them. Oh my god, oh my god! 
Oh, you shot him. Good job. Oh my god. <laughs> it's crazy. Whoa! It's kind of like the same scent from Solar Storm. It might be. It does look like the same kind of pattern that oh they reused. God. This is really hard. Oh, oh, you're still alive. No, I, I think I reset Can we set it. Oh, zero. Yeah. It's like Juno first when you're down to the bottom because Juno first you have to collect guys as well. It's very fast though. Can you press forward and back to slow down? No. no? Oh Let's yes. So you don't have to go. Up. There, that makes sense. Oh, that makes life so much easier now. Send somebody down. That's really smart. That's really cool. Wow, that's brutal. <laughs> Pick up six guys, then fly through the rings to take off, Dave says. Oh, gotcha. I'm not going to get to that point. <laughs> I can't even get through this part and land on the moon. Oh, it had a little moon on it. The Earth. That was so mm -hmm. cool. That one didn't. That's one. Get the dude. Oh, there's two, three, oh. four. Did you get him? No. No. Three. Oh. oh. My goodness. You should play this. Okay. Yeah. I'll play your last life. Yeah, you will need to fly through the rings to advance to the next planet. No. Oh, and dead. <laughs> Started off way too fast. Okay, yeah. start over. No, 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 it's good. It's fine. Oh, I thought you needed a rage reset. Sorry. Oh, I want to go on that green planet. No. Oh, come back here, green planet. There we go. Slow down, slow down. Nobody needs to go that fast. Oh, my God. Enemies. Deadly. Did I get him? No. Yep. Did you? Yeah, there's a little guy at the top. Oh, my God. It's so hard. The ships are flying at you. Very cool. Yes, it is. Very cool concept. Okay. Slow down, slow down. You feel really slow. Yeah. One, two. Ooh. Ooh. Three. Oh. You you got know, I knew it was too close. I crashed. Yeah. Jeez. It's brutal. Oh, we got a green one. I don't know if it's anything different. No. It's just green. I don't see any guys on this planet. Maybe they can't. Oh, there we go. One. Nope. Can you back up? No. I can just go slow. Really cool boss. There is a cool boss? Let's see if we can make it. I mean... Where's all the people? There's no people on this planet. Oh, slow down. Two. Come on. Don't kill me, come on. Don't. Whatever that guy was, not a boss. I don't know if they're bosses so much as... Oh God, it's so hard. They do Five. eventually run away. Six. Now through the rings, someone said? Oh. There's one ring. That ring? Do I have to like slow them Like all the rings? rings? All the rings? Some of the rings? How many rings? Oh, I did it! Finally. Oh, blue planet, come here. Come here! Oh! oh. That's pretty cool game. Very Moon visually impressive. Moon Sweeper that was? Moon Sweeper. Very cool. That was very cool. That there was a lot of elements going on there. This game. Blue is easiest than green, yellow, and red, says Dave. Dave oh. knows his stuff. Dave likes that game. Yep. It's Cubert! You can <sighs> hand it to me if you like. Parker Brothers, PB5360 by Dave Hampton and Tom Sloper. Get your joysticks on a 45 degree angle. It's Cubert. <sighs> Oh, it's Cubert. It's Cubert, all right. Oh, uh, I got the green guy before the uh, purple guy was on the screen. So that was a bad move.
There's a much, much, much improved Cubert. Homebrew Cubert. That destroys this one. It's so good. Um, it is called. What is it called? It's like a play on Cubert. It's a play on Cubert, yeah. Oh, I can't remember. Where things don't move like a tabletop game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they actually move and bounce. It's so Ruby Q! Ruby Q, that's what yeah. it is. It's Thank you. Haha, <laughs> Tiny did the little girl in the car seat disgusted face at the mention of Cubert. <laughs> My least favorite of the games. <laughs> What is, I, what is with this diagonal? Yeah, I don't hold my Ugh. joystick on a diagonal. I just Ugh. learn what left and right is. This doesn't look as bad as I remember, but still not very good. <laughs> it's 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 a it's functional cubert. It it's works. It's a functional cubert game. I mean, it's chonky. It's still cubert. Because things move really <laughs> slow uh, and chonky. It's still cubert. I mean, the snake bounces, but it kind of just moves from thing to yeah. thing. It's, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. Like a game and watch. Yeah, like a game and watch. It is a bit. Ah! Oh! How to waste a life on keyboard. <laughs> yeah, clear the path. Going for the last one. Yeah, it's the choppy movement. Other it is than a bit that, choppy, yeah. I mean, it's missing some of the characters. In yeah, the game, there's which, usually a lot more. Which aren't Ruby there? Q fixes. Like all the sideways characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those are cool. And Ruby Q has so many bonus things that they put into it that, uh. uh what's his name? Silvo? Silvo? The developer? this back in the day from a uh, bargain, bargain bin. bin. Nice. Oh, good deal. Cubert time. Yeah, I started collecting I think right after the oh, come on. The bargain bins finished. And I was going to like the flea market and everybody was selling these games really that they cheaply. did buy yeah. from all the sales from the stores. Um, in um, 94, because it was discontinued in 92, so they're like, it's all done. Clear it all out, sell them for a dollar. Stop it. He changes them back. He changes the colors back. He's naughty. Naughty like a black cat. Yep. Kittens are just like toddlers. They will put anything in their mouth. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. With these wires. This wire in his mouth. Oh no, you were doing some, uh, some electrical work? Yeah, some soldering. I had those left over. I just ran out of time to clean up, but... Come on. The timer's going. Lasting a long time. Yeah, you've been <laughs> playing a good, good long game. Made some mistakes at the beginning, but... Snakey over here. It's a very competent version of Cubert. If you like Cubert, it's perfectly serviceable. Oh, yeah. It's over. It's over. I wanted to finish that <laughs> it's level. It's over. Next one is the official Frogger on Starpath Supercharger. The official Frogger. Destroys the other frogger. Meow. Sprite agrees. Made by Stephen H. Landrum, AR4105. Oh, official frogger. Oh, no. no. Sorry about that. Want to play this one again? Nope. Nice dodge. Thank you, RC70. Oh, the kitten's out of control. He is out of control. Much more detailed, better music. 
better graphics. And I believe it has the... Ooh, it was tempting, wasn't it? Get that fly. Mm -hmm. Going for the easy one first. Yeah, whatever. Oh, and the frogs at the top are very nice, too. What the F? That's 2600? Yep, this is the Star Pass Supercharger version of Frogger. Star Pass Supercharger had more RAM on board the cartridge, so they could store more information and a lot of uh, ROM space, too. Diddly, 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 diddly. Oh. Great TIM music. Yes, it is. Really good. Single voice, though. But it's using the other voice for uh, sound effects for the game, so that's fine. It's like on the C64 where they had three voices. And usually, like, on, it always baffled me on games the C64, you could choose sometimes all sound effects or all music. Rather, oh my god. Um, but not a mix where they would drop out one of the voices of the music for sound effects. So I think maybe the musicians are like, no, no, no. They're here, either hearing all of it or none of it. Oh no, down. Ugh, that end one is so hard. Oh, oh just missed just him. Just missed him. The end one is very hard. Get your frog girlfriend. Hey, frog girlfriend! Hey! Oh, now you're all striky. You're moving together. How does this play on a harmony cart without extra RAM? Uh, the Harmony Cart has all the RAM you need built into it. It's able to emulate um, a lot of the different... Oh my god, you ran out of time, I guess? Ooh. Emulate a lot of different bank switching and different types of carts. Um, so it does have the ability to emulate the Star Pass Supercharger games. Just have to get the right timing. Nice moves! And you got the fly as a bonus. I think the turtles go underwater. Yes, they do. They splash under the water. They give you a little warning. You have to kind of avoid them sometimes, but you can hop on them. Just oh! Make sure you, make sure you, goodness sake. you hop off of them quick enough. Oh, oh no! no. It's give you a lot of lives, though. It does. On the default. Oh. oh, squished. Not so good on level two. Some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, Star Path original name was Arcadia, oh, and they God. had to change it because another company had the same name, Arcadia. Well, it's smart to change it either to avoid being companies. People oh, being confused on. and lawsuits, obviously, if they had it first. Especially if they're in the realm of making video games. Just terrible. I have 30 seconds to play Frog. Play, play, play good. Get across, get, 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 go, go. 25 seconds. Uh, let's do the hardest one first. That's what you gotta do. You gotta do this. Delay your timings. <laughs> 12 Frog seconds. Girlfriend. Frog girlfriend. Get another one. Oh, and the fly too. Nice. How many seconds left? <laughs> Three. Oh, two, no. One. Oh, one more. And then I'll switch over. Frogger. Very good version it of Frogger. It is a very good version of Frogger. Now we're playing the last game of All the right. night. Rabbit Transit. Okay, I, I have never heard of that one before. Star Pass Supercharger. Yeah. July 1983 by Brian McGee. AR 4104. Rabbit. Rabbit Transit. 83 Star. Rabbit Transit. Okay. You may not like this one because it has Qbert controls. 
But you might like it because it's a rabbit. So you get on your little turtle friend. Don't go in the water. There you go. And then you play Cubert on this level and avoid that guy dropping stuff. You like it because it's a cute rabbit? It is a cute rabbit. <laughs> I will forgive its Cubert controls. <laughs> Over in my head again. Oh, you're a little rabbit at night. Finding your rabbit girlfriend. Oh, oh and they're babies! Four babies! Oh, this oh. is cute! Now there's a snake, like in some other game that you hop around in. Could be Cubert. Ah! Now he's dropping them fast. Rabbit transit sounds like a speech exercise for newscasters. It's hard to say because we're so used to saying we're rapid transit. Kitties! What's the problem? Cat just talks and talks. Heart Siamese, I think. Can you hear him? Can you guys hear it? Sprite going crazy? Oh my god! Uh, Eight baby rabbits! Oh, so many baby! Oh ZPH, 50% Atari games, 50% cats oh, yelling no. at us. Kitties don't want to be out -cuted. Oh my god. There's tennis balls. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. Get to that, oh, that slow one. Oh my god! Cubert! <laughs> Cubert foils you again. Good graphics. Cute music. Very repetitive though. Oh no. Oh no, mean. Oh, it's gonna change them back now. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. It's like Hubert. It's like the. Oh, oh you fell. No. Oh, first. We knocked me. First rabbit death. No, I've had another oh, rabbit no. death. Rabbit. Yep. Pretty much like lead him to where. Oh my god, it's he's very hard. You can do it, quick! You can do it. One more. Yes. And he's like, what? <laughs> oh, how many rabbits and now? More bunnies, bunny, bunny. He's gonna bunnies. do another row of bunnies, I bet. Here he comes. Here's our black <gasps> bunny. Row of bunnies. Oh, it. so cute. Bunny. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. Oh, you're so oh my goodness! What is all the yelling out there? Oh, oh not bad! I died. It? I hit a, I hit a snake. What are you doing? Come back here! So many bunnies! Oh, there's two cats now. They're like, it they is multiply. five to dinner. Is? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's five to dinner. Well, it's the last game. I'll play till I die. 40, 42 seconds. I want to see what how many rabbits I can get. Oh my god. <laughs> you can fast forward the uh, interlude. It's very cute. It's very cute. Trolls are a bit sensitive. Yeah, they are. Like, really sensitive. Yeah. Luckily, you can't really fall off this too easy. They can cubert. No, there's no falling off, thank goodness. At, that would make all? it a lot worse. Not that I've noticed. Oh, come on, get down there. Down! Yeah, it's like hurting cats. <laughs> Supercharger loaded games keeps quicker than the C64. Yeah. Ah, did it? There we go. You gonna keep going? Yeah, I wanna see the other levels. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Rabbits. I can just lure him over here. Maybe. I can stay in the sides. Just have him through the sides. Yep. Actually much easier though if you get it in a way that you can do that. No, oh, see? Damn. You kind of want to attract him to one spot. No, you don't want him to go back there. Ah. Uh, you want him to do two two side by side there. 
There you go. Now you can just go boom, 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 boom. There you go. Yay! It's in time. Uh, it kills you. You you yeah. fall into the water if he. Uh, Very good graphics. Little bunnies. So you made it to here. Yeah. This is where I died. Oh, oh but my you, god. But you've died much less than I have, so. I'm dead. One. It's not that really? hard to get to this to the turtle for the most part. No. Oh, do you have to hit it twice? No, oh, just once. Not. I'm sure that will come. Nightmare. That will come. Yes, just the same as last time. Well, it, the, the, these levels seem to repeat themselves. They, they, you get the same kind of thing twice. Snaders. Yeah. Oh, how many? I bet you can get the whole screen Do you think filled so? with bunnies. Because they're just doing rows, they're right? So cute. Oh, That's a lot of baby bunnies. <gasps> oh! Oh, they're gators. Gators oh from goodness. Pitfall. Is this the same? Yeah, it's the same. He just comes more frequently. Okay. All Good right. stuff. That is fun. Good graphics. Uh, it's it's it pretty much maxes out. Yeah, Because I don't think he can go faster. Like it would be very unfair if he starts going even faster than that. It'd be really hard. Okay, let's go back to the main screen. A new version of the high score challenge. Fill the screen with baby bunnies. <laughs> oh God, yes. I like it. So what did I check off here today? Checked off Space Master X7. Um, which one was that one? It was the one with the circles moving out? Yes. Um, Solar remember. Fox. That's moving across oh, the screen. Oh, that was good. Yeah, yeah. And Solar Storm. That was pretty with good, the too. the panel. What else? What, what did you what surprised like? surprised me? There were surprises. Those are the ones that I would play again. Moon Sweeper was very hard, but very impressive. Uh, the Rabbit Transit one was pretty cute. <laughs> it was cute, It yes. was very cute. Um, Flash Gordon. Oh, yes, Flash Gordon was excellent. Surprisingly... Never played that before. That was very, very... Um, very creative use of a yeah. overview map and constant Ooh. moving without having to switch back between a maze and shooting. Really clever. Yeah. I mean, of the ones that I played before, like Keystone Capers to me, even though it's it's fairly rudimentary version, is always a fun fun game to play. Yep. No escape. Oh, uh, thumbs that? down, wall ball. Wall ball. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could have been good, but even then, Ooh. it's like, eh. And like, and Crackpot's also fantastic game. Hard as hell. But Hard, but fantastic game. Beautiful looking. Yeah. Actually, a lot of them were very entertaining yep. to play. No Escape was surprising. Quite an interesting game, too. I agree. Oh, yeah. That one where you're hitting things in the ceiling and, and they dropping drop. them down. That was clever. That was play. a clever, clever game. Yeah, yep. I agree yep. with that. Really good. Yeah. Wall Ball. Lots RC, of. RC70 likes Wall Ball. You can play it. Go for it. <laughs> was a cool. great lineup. Yeah. Really good tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I hope. Uh, day five or night five is going to be as good. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. As we get close to Christmas, they might be rushing out the games before they're done. <laughs> um, so thanks for tuning in yes. to day four of 1983. Mm -hmm. um, so on Friday, it will not be the Lynx homebrew, unfortunately. I've already rescheduled it for I don't know when, whenever yep. it's done. I don't know what I'm going to do on Friday. It might be day More of this with five. Darcy. Yeah. yeah. Wait, let's stop that. Yeah. Yeah. It might be more of this with Darcy just to get through it because yeah. it's summertime. Not a lot of games being put out. There's a couple that I want to play, but yeah. it doesn't fill a whole, a dip, whole show. A whole show and yet. the Lynx will be a big one, but it's not oh. quite up and running yet. So, yeah. Yeah. No, the, uh, the Lynx game drive is... I think that's the problem, but we're going to see. Okay. Minor 2049er. No, that's an F. Big fail. <laughs> um, thanks for tuning in, Atari 2600 dude. Chelsea Donnie Mao, Charles Wheeland, Atari uh, 2600, RC70. RC70. Gopherman 96. Dan ABC. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Oof. Oh, Azure. old style is in there. Is oh, old style. Old style. Yeah. Dave. Dave, thank you for your tips and tricks as we were yes. going through that. You knew these Very games helpful. better than us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Larry, Larry VGS. VGS. Nice. Uh, Avalon Hill made over 50 games to the Atari 800 computer. Nice. Oh, yeah. prolific on the other system. Uh, and that's all the people I can scroll back on the chat. Thank you so much. I did Google it. Apparently a similar game on the C64. I'm going to look it up. It doesn't stink. Oh, the wall ball. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about Minor 49 <laughs> It's a little bit less stinky on the C64. Charles Whelan says porkies. Porkies. <laughs> no. The controls are terrible. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> the concept, I could see, you know, multiple levels. You have to do little things. Little Naked women in showers. Push things. <laughs> it's, it's like an adventure game. It's, it's, yeah. it's got it, but the controls uh, fail again, yeah. sadly. Yeah. Too fiddly. Um, so, yeah, most likely it's going to be Friday. Mm. That'll be the second to last. And then the last one we'll do next week. Yes. Yeah. And then we're off for two weeks. Two weeks and then back to finish it up. Finish it up. Yeah. Yep. Uh, with day, uh, the last two days. Yes. 1984 to 1992. We'll do two days of those. It's going to be long days, though. Mm. A little bit longer. It'll be 50 games each. We did like um, f just under 40 today, so it'll be wow, just a bit longer. Wow, that's a lot of games. That's why it's a long show today. tonight. Yeah. What, four hours? Seven? Today? Yeah, 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 four hours. Wow, that was a long haul. Yeah. All good games, though. It didn't yeah. feel like it didn't was long. It like four hours. No, no, I mean, I did reach a point where I was like, oh, we're not halfway through yet. <laughs> but um, yeah. uh, all the games were fun. Like, Oh, I, there's I a minor say... 2049er part two to come. <laughs> mm, boy. Yeah. Okay. But it's bedtime now for yes it's for cats. Time for cats. These cats are losing it because they're hungry. So, holy cow, that's a huge year range for just 100 more games. Yes. Yeah, there's 200 games in '83. Uh, Release. 200 games in '83 and 100 from '94, uh, 84 to '92. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Give me food now. Yeah, you can that's hear him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're out of here. Yeah, uh, thank see you for you again joining us on Friday. It's going to be at noon with. Darcy, Darcy yeah. most likely, but check your local listings. Yeah. Uh, see you then. Bye, Bye everyone. Have, Have a good, good night. night.